Matthew Rush, look at yeah. me. Look me in the eye right now.
just so y'all know, the patch is now available on Steam. And I'm downloading it pretty fast, so hopefully this is a good sign for a 6 p.m. Eastern launch. I'll be playing the wretch, guys. send out a quick tweet and then we'll start things up here Elden Ring begins I'm shaking right now. I am legit nervous to play Elden Ring. I am nervous to play Elden Ring. Not about the stream. <laughs> I'm actually nervous to play Elden Ring right now. This is like 10 years in the, in the making right here. guys one second let me just do a hashtag Elden Ring gotta use your hashes Elden Ring 1600 tweets per hour okay tweet has been made all right there's a couple things we got to hope for for here at six o'clock one that the game works two that my controller works oh, shit what I just do Sorry guys, the robot voice doesn't work at the start of the stream because I have my desktop audio muted, but let me bring that back in. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some Elden Ring. Let's go, Wolf Daddy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate all of you guys that hit that thumbs up button. Big help for the launch day of a game, especially for a poor YouTuber like myself who didn't get early access to the game. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that though, okay? I don't want to talk about that. All right, it is now 6.01, so let me restart Steam. And hopefully we can get things started right away. And uh, I plan on streaming probably until midnight, so six hours or so tonight if my body can make it. Let's start it back up. Thank you guys so much for uh, for stopping it. I greatly appreciate it. Let me get rid of this right here. Come on, Steam. You better work. Lenny, thank you so much for the $4.99. Gonna wait to experience it myself for the first time later tonight. Have a great stream, though. Wolfpack, thank you so much, Lenny. All right, guys, Elden Ring. It is not lit up yet. It is not lit up yet. <laughs> We're gonna have to keep checking here. Rory, thank you so much for your 14 plus months of channel membership. The real question is, will it kick your ass as much as God of War did? I don't know. Good question. God of War on God of War mode was really tough. Um, I feel like I'll do better in Elden Ring, though, because God of War was a completely different control setup. I didn't understand the abilities, and I feel like as someone who's played the Souls games before, I'll probably understand Elden Ring a little bit better in the beginning. If any of you guys actually get into the game, please let me know. I'm just going to keep restarting Steam here. I'm not sure if you have to restart Steam, but I'm going to do it anyways. Figures that will get a little bit of a late launch. Jarlaxle with a Canadian $10 donation. Thank you so much, Jarlaxle, and thank you for your channel membership. Hello, Michael Anthony. Amanda says the play button is still gray. Come on. Oh my god, it keeps changing. It said February 25th, then it changed to February 24th. And now it says this item is not yet available. 
Shit, let's go, baby. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so pumped up right now. And bear with me, guys. Tonight, um, I'm gonna be a little less active when the ch with the chat than I typically am. Um, as always with a new game, I like to really just try to take in the game and not multitask too too much. Otherwise, uh, the beginning of my playthrough will be a disaster and I won't understand anything that I'm doing. So bear with me tonight um, and I'll make it up to you guys as we keep playing Elden Ring. Very excited. Michael, thanks, you, thank you so much for the two euro donation. I appreciate you, man. It's releasing at 6 p.m. for PC players and then midnight tomorrow for console players. At least that's everything that I've looked up a million times. All right, let's try it one more time. From software doesn't like me. Wolfhard FPS is just too small of a too small of a YouTuber for From Software, and I can respect that. Alright, Elden Ring. Oh, come on, game. Don't do this to me. Don't make me awkwardly talk to the chat for another hour. Please. Michael, thank you so much. So what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> Let's go to the tavern. Happy Thursday, guys. And TGIF, almost, for all of you guys that work Monday through Friday. What an exciting time to be alive right now. Well, not for everybody. As you guys know, there's a lot of things going on in the world tonight. We're going to try to refrain from commenting too much on things tonight in this chat. I try to keep uh, st I try to keep discussions like that away from my channel. But uh, with that said, um, heart goes out to anybody that's affected by what's going on in the world right now. And hope everybody's safe, okay? Let's talk about fruit desserts. Carly, don't make me give you a two-minute temporary ban for the third time, okay? Because I'll do it. I'm a man of my word. Skull. All right, guys, I'm starting up Steam one more time. Come on, From. You gotta, you gotta get, you gotta get it ready for us. Download started. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, the download has begun. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought. Crap. Okay, we're going pretty fast. Looks like it's taking about 15 second, 15 to 20 seconds per gigabyte, and we have 50 gigabytes. So we got a couple, I don't know, five minutes or so for it to unpack. But then we have to also download it. Ah, oh, damn it. Perhaps I'll play a YouTube video or I'll look up an article. I've watched very, very, very little on this game because I wanted to have the fresh playthrough. I did look up an article on the classes, though, and I'm definitely going to be playing Wretch tonight, guys. So I'm going to be naked in level one. So spare me the damn comments for those of you guys that start as a level 10 warrior and you guys kill the first boss in one try. Spare me the damn comments. Because I'm going to be naked level one with a shitty club, Okay. Josh O, thank you so much for the $2 donation. Check NVIDIA drivers. They just got a new update. Uh-oh, I don't know if I can do that while I'm streaming. I don't know if I can do that while I'm streaming. So I'm not going to do that. That will have that will probably make my Streamlabs OBS exit out, and then I have to restart the stream. So um, as long as this download finishes and the game runs all right, then I'm just going to play like that. If we have to start up a new stream, then I will, but that'll be a bummer, so... Sing us a song. <laughs> Hello, B. Lee. Kendra, thanks for stopping in. Oh, shit. I'm missing a lot here. Matt F., thank you so much. Let me bring that back in. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member. We're about 30% done with our download. To the tavern we go to celebrate Matt F. I appreciate it, man. Just remember, guys, anybody who becomes a channel member or donates or anything, just remember... I play a lot of different games on this channel, all right? So uh, next week, I might not be playing the game that you want that you want me to play. <laughs> so fair warning ahead of you, okay? Do a lot of CRPGs on this channel. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of new people in here tonight because of Elden Ring, but... Cherry Pie. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Update and restart the stream. Juan, with a $2 donation, anyone know of any good fruit? Does Are you shitting me right now? Are you shitting me, Juan? You guys are making me pull out the ban hammer right in the beginning of the stream. You gotta be absolutely kidding me. B. Lee, with the eight plus months of channel membership, thank you so much, B. Lee. The urge to sleep is so strong, but the need to watch is stronger. All right, guys, we're over 50% done with the download. Things are moving pretty smoothly. It's still not out yet. Um, it is for PC players, Jeremy. 
6 p.m. Eastern for PC players. Console players have to wait until, I don't know, midnight or something. What's up, Patrick? Queen Tiamat slash bow. Hello, Flint. We got 430 people in here. Hey, thank you guys so much for uh, hitting that like button. I greatly appreciate it and welcome anybody who's new around here. I didn't expect that many people to come in on Elden Ring launch because so many YouTubers and Twitch streamers already got access to the game and poor Wolfheart didn't. I've just been sitting here with my thumb up my ass, not watching videos. All right, we're about 75% done. I am just unbelievably hyped. You guys don't even understand. Baldur's Gate 3 and Elden Ring are like the two most hyped games of my life, okay? They're definitely up there. Wiz, thank you so much for the $20 donation. I greatly appreciate you, and thank you for all your donos at the end of the stream. Hopefully, I didn't change the music this time. We'll find out when, we, when it gets to midnight. I'm on PC, and it's not out yet. Um, well, we'll see. We'll see when this download finishes. Rory, thank you for the two-pound donation. I love Black Forest. What, what, what is that? I don't even know how to pronounce that, Rory. But thanks for the donut. Please say you washed your thumb. Absolutely not. Not at the Krusty Wolf Tavern. Are you shitting me? Where's that? Where's our other tavern? Not at the Krusty Wolf Tavern, ladies and gentlemen. Juan, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for your channel membership. I greatly appreciate you. I believe you are channel member number 258 after checking this morning. So thank you so much. Jarlaxle with another $10 donation. Wolf, we just like seeing you, man. Enjoy. Thank you, Jarlaxle. Jonathan Tempest with a $4.99 brandish. The Elden Ring. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. We're getting really close to seeing what happens here after our download finishes. 100%. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm like a little kid on Christmas right now. This is unbelievable. Please control. I hope everything goes smooth stream wise. That's all I'm praying for. Here we go. Oh. Hold on. Anti cheat. Anti cheat. Anti cheat is installing. One second, guys. I can't see the game yet, but it looks like we are playing. Relax, so thank you so much for your second donation. Nemesis coming in with a $4.99. Do they serve fruit? You guys are pissing me off. Thank you, Nemesis. Hold on one second, guys. I still have a black screen. And also, guys, shout out to RS who uh, gifted me this game. So RS or Rick, if you're in the chat, uh, thank you so much. That's one of the few, one of the few um, game gifts I've ever accepted because I don't like to accept games as gifts from people because then I have the pressure to play it. But um, Elden Ring is uh, an exception in that case. So thank you so much, Rick or RS, if you're watching right now. Appreciate you. Richard Morales, thank you for the $1.99. Not playable on PC on my end. Looks like I'm playing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's go. Fucking god, I'm about to get naked. I'm about to play butt naked. Oh, I should have gotten an IPA for this. <laughs> oh shit, alright. Uh-oh. Oh, I crashed. Nope, we're good. Sure, I'll just accept anything you, you give me from software. Anything you throw at me, I'll accept it. All right, welcome to the online multiplayer world of Elden Ring. This game allows you to connect to online experience a variety of elements that enrich a single player experience. Order to play online, your console must be connected. Yeah, I'm not playing on console. Oh, I can't handle this. I'm, I'm legit shaking right now. And it's not because of the stream. And it's not because of the stream. You guys know me. When I get nervous when I'm streaming, I let you guys know every time. I am legit nervous because I've been waiting for this game for so damn long. Full screen. All right, we're good. Quality settings high. I'm going to leave it on all of that right now. Uh, hopefully, we don't need the new NVIDIA driver, but um, let's find out what happens. Here we go. Just promise me, guys, all right? If I have to restart the stream because of the NVIDIA drivers, promise me you'll come back, okay? You guys ready for this? 
Sean Spiller, thank you so much for the $5. What's the hidden secret about fruit desserts? I honestly don't know. The hidden secret is that if you talk about fruit desserts, you get a two-minute temporary ban, okay? Thanks for the five, Sean. Joey, and thank you for the five. If, 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 blah, blah, blah. The fuck did I just say? If it isn't launching on my Steam, try restarting Steam, everyone, says Joey. All right, guys, you're going to have to... You're going to have to take a break with the donations. We can't do what we did that one night, all right? <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much for the $20. All right, Wolf, I don't want to spoil it for me, so here's some support. Hope you have fun. Everyone, like the stream. Take care. A oh, woo. Kelly, enjoy your night. I'm very excited for you as well. Let us know how it goes, all right? I'm sure I'll see you on the next stream. And I totally understand. Enjoy the game. Juan, with a $15 donation, we cherish, we cherish, cher, cherish you, bud. Hope the game is very good. <laughs> this game looks so... Juan, you're throwing me off here with the tongue twister. Also super happy you're on the panel from hell. Thank you so much, Juan, for the 15. And ladies and gentlemen, RS, the man, the myth, the legend, the one who bought this game for me is present with a 1999 donation. RS, I've gotten so many donations at the start of this stream, I'm about to just send money to you now. <laughs> With a $20 donation, oh my god, it's starting. Everyone stay calm, so effing calm. Anytime Wolf love the streams. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, RS. All right, guys, here we go. Pause the donations for the cinematic, all right? Here we go. Oh, actually, we got character creation. Never mind. All right. As I told you guys, we're going to start off with the wretch. So, if I see one damn person tell me that they killed the boss in one try and they played, like, the freaking warrior class, you're banned from the chat tonight. Okay? For the entire night. Tardis, thanks so much for the $2. Keep donating so Wolf can't play. Hexus, thank you for your continued channel membership. Let's go, brother. Mine is downloading update, but still get started. All right, here we go, guys. Um, look at all the classes. I honestly thought about playing Astrologer. Um, and trying a pure magic build, but I feel like that's pansy. I was watching gameplay, um, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago when they did like a little preview, and uh, it seems like you just stand back and, and fire magic. So I'm gonna stay away from that. We're gonna go with the wretch. And we get two body types. What's the difference? Oh, okay, A is male and B is female, so we'll go with A. Guess I have to use my keyboard. Hello, Silver. Thank you so much for the $9.99. Just going to slide this in here real quick. We'll be watching in the background. Thank you, Silver. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the body types here. Young. I don't think I'm young anymore, unfortunately. I want to tell myself that I am, but I'm just not. Great body, though. Mature? Yep. <laughs> I think I look better than that, IRL, but I'm starting to look like that, to be honest with you. That Now, that's badass. I respect you guys that play aged, man. Wisdom. Wisdom is key. All right, we'll go with mature because I don't want uh, I don't want you guys staring at my pectorials all night. All right, you're making me feel uncomfortable. Okay. All right, origin. Um, I guess this is the class again or what? Okay, we're gonna stay on wretch, naked and afraid. Keepsake. No keepsake. The past has been well and truly left behind. All right, so this must be the item that we start off with. So we got <clears throat> Victoria. Thank you so much for the channel membership. Welcome to the channel. I'm Brendan B. Thank you for the $2. All right, so we have Crimson Amber Medallion. A medallion inlaid with Crimson Amber increases maximum HP. I feel like that's probably a popular choice. Lands Between Rune. The gold of gray shining in the eyes of the people of the lands between. Used to gain many runes. So that's to gain money. I don't think I want that. Golden Seed. Said to reinforce sacred flasks. So sacred flasks must be like your health potions, just like in Dark Souls, the Estus flasks. So that sounds like a pretty good choice. A container for certain thrown items? No. Stoneward Key. Two stone keys shaped like swords breaks the seal on imp statues, but can only be used once. Okay. Five sacred branches charged with a beguiling power, said to originate from the demigod Makella. Five pieces of boiled prawn boosts physical damage negation. That sounds pretty cool. And then, however you say that, Shabriri's Woe. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out. Attracts enemy aggression. Interesting. All right, so I think probably I want to go with something to do with the flasks. Because there's a lot of items that you can just basically get later. 
The HP sounds nice. I'm either going to do the HP or this one. Said to reinforce sacred flasks. So if I'm understanding that correctly, that means you get more, more health potions. Per rest. Okay. I'm going to go with it. All right. The most common face of the Tarnished, after all, they were all warriors once. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. I still have to... Uh... Oh, this is just the base template of our character, and then we're going to go into character creation after this. Whoa. That's metal right there. <laughs> that guy looks like a White Walker. It's pretty cool. I like his ponytail. Draconian? That's badass. It looks like a drow. That's pretty sick, too. Honestly, I might go with, like... I might go with something like that. This guy is just... That's goals in life right there. <laughs> this guy looks like the lead singer of a... Uh, of a metal band. All right, um, I might go with... Honestly, I, I'm liking... I'm liking the ashen skin color a lot, man. Like, that looks amazing. Um, let me click on... We'll click on the metal dude first, and then we'll go into the detailed appearance and see what we got here. Okay, we'll go with mature. It's starting to get real awkward. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that one. Sure, I'm not clicking on that anymore. You guys are you guys are sick. Hey, thank you guys so much. Uh, Victoria, also welcome to the channel. Appreciate you guys hitting the thumbs up button, guys. Thank you. Need the seed? Okay, I got the seed, so that's good. Think I want to play something while I'm watching the stream? You should, Spaz. Queen says, not my metal band. You think I'm 28 IRL? Um, I'm a little bit older than that, Tom, but you're pretty close, though. I'll give you credit. Unfortunately, I've left my 20s. Unfortunately. But we're not going to talk about it, okay? All right, let's go back in here and let's go with... Let's see. Oh, here we go. We can mess with the skin color in here, too. Character creator is pretty nice. Nicer than the other Souls games. I am so tempted to do, like, a, like a drow mixed with, like, a White Walker type look. Damn, they got every skin color you can think of here. That guy spent too much time in the sun. That, I mean, that's freaking badass too right there. Kind of look like a little bit undead. I think I'm going to go with... See, I'm, I'm trying something weird here, but... Maybe I'll just go with my skin color. What the hell color skin do I have? You guys can't tell because uh, my camera brightness and uh, my camera colors are always are always showing you guys a different skin color on me. Some of you guys think I'm pal. Some of you guys think I'm tan. Um, I think I'm going to go with... God, I'm so tempted to go this route right here. I might do it. I might do it. All right, let's go face and hair. This is the most important thing. Bone structure. Damn, this character creator is pretty damn good. I think I like that one. He's got sad eyes. 255 years old? Wait, apparent age? I thought he did mature. How long can you live in the, in the Elden Ring universe? We'll go with mature, because we chose the mature body type. Is it going to switch to mature? No, it's not. I don't get it. All right. Well, if, if max age is 250, then we'll be... Uh, we're going to be 99, okay? <laughs> it's a big moment for this guy. All right. He's turning 100 very soon. It's a very important year. All right. Facial aesthetic. Masculine and feminine. We'll go towards the masculine side and see what we got here. I don't know. I'm not happy with him right now, but we're going to have to go with it. All right. Oh, my God. There's so many freaking choices. This is crazy. Thank you, Don. What's up, Ryan? Thanks for stopping in, man. Looks like Jerry Cantrell. I don't know who that is, Russ. I'll have to look it up. I don't look like I'm in my 30s. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you, guys. Yep, I entered my 30s. Uh, 
I'm 32. All right. If you guys want to really know. Depends on if I shave. If I shave, then I'm 25. If I grow my beard out, then I'm 32. I don't know if I can mess with all this. Um, nose size, I think that's probably pretty good. Nose to forehead ratio. Like, I don't, I don't even understand that. So I'm not even going to mess with it. I think it looks pretty good. The only thing I want to mess with is his brow right now. Can you guys hear the music right now? Hope you can. Honestly, I, like, I think like his basic facial features are pretty good. Because if I start really getting into this, we're going to be here all night. And we're never going to leave character creation. Now, let me take a look at this. We're going to bring his brows up a little bit. Inner brow ridge. No, I like it down. He looks a little angry. Or should I make a uh, fisheye character? What do you guys think? I don't mind making a character that looks a little sad. I mean, everything Dark Souls is sad. All right, eyes. I feel like eyes and hair are the most important thing. Eye size will make them have big eyes. Gotta make them look like a white walker. Oh, no, that's a little bit too big. We'll go with that. I think I'm good with the slant. Eye spacing. Space them out a little bit more. All right, nose ridge. God, this is really in depth. This is really in depth. I think the only thing I really want to mess with here is the nose tip. We're going to make it go up a little bit, like a who, because that's how my nose is. Wait, is it doing it? Give him a crooked nose. Can't really tell like what the tip of his nose is for the setting. I thought it would have been nose tip height, but it doesn't look like it's going up and down. All right, I think we're just going to go with that. I think he looks pretty good. All right, nostrils. How are your nostrils doing, buddy? What do mine look like? Juan with another $5 donation. The nose to forehead ratio is how many noses to how many foreheads. Usually it's a one to one, but switch it up and see where it gets you. Thank you, Juan. Appreciate it. Hello, Dragon. Can't stay long. Going to have dinner with my dad for his birthday. Happy birthday to your dad, Dragon. Tell him that the wolf pack says happy birthday. And I appreciate you guys for hitting that thumbs up button. Thank you. Hello, Suzanne. James. Great to see all these returning names. Shadow. Hello, hello. I think I like that. Let's pump his nostrils open a little bit. You gotta be able to sniff the world in Elden Ring. It's very, very important. All right, cheeks. Bring his cheekbone down a little bit. Cheekbone depth. Eh, I think I'm fine with that. Cheekbone width. Widen him up a little bit. Protrusion. Yep, I like that. And then cheeks. Should we give him big puffy red cheeks? It's really hard to tell with this character's hair. <laughs> His hair is really making character creation pretty tough right now. All right, lips. I mean, I can't really tell the difference that much. I'm just going to go with that mouth expression. Okay, right there, lip fullness. Probably good with that. I'm good with that. Protrusion. Don't think we have to mess with that. And then lip thickness. You got lip size and lip thickness. It's crazy. Okay, right there. All right, guys. We're almost done. I'm imagining that some of you guys are going to spend way too much time in the character creator. And I do have to say that I greatly respect that. Unfortunately, I don't have that luxury right now. Too many people watching. We got to play some Elden Ring. Funny thing is, after all this, I feel like he still looks like the basic guy that we are, the preset that we already had. I don't think I care about mouth to chin distance. I just don't care. All right, chin tip position. Um, 
Sure, I guess. We'll make his chin a little longer than normal, okay? Yeah, I literally don't care about any of that at all. It's not going to look any different if I mess with it. All right, this is what matters, though, is the jaw size. We got to give him a big old jaw. Yeah. Make it a little wider than normal so we can get a nice thick beard on him. Lower jaw. There's two jaws. Do they have a... Uh... Do they have a chin fat... Uh... Chin fat scaler? Because we're going to have to bump that sucker up if they do. Because once you get out of your 20s, ladies and gentlemen, you enter the world of chin fat. And if I want to tell you guys one thing about my experience, because I am so very wise at the age of 32, the ladies love the chin fat. So let it live. Okay. Uh, hair. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Well, look at that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, we can you can make a funny looking character. What's up, Des Digo? In true RPGs, I end up making ten different characters before I'm even able to complete the first act. So back before I used to stream, when I would create a character, I would always have to go back to character creation because the character that you create in the creator doesn't end up being the character. It doesn't end up looking the same when you get into the game, especially for tattoos and skin color. When you get into the game, all of that typically changes. And I've, I've had to go back so many times in so many games to recreate a character to make it look like it does in the actual game. I'm two years older than you, Hex. Nice. I didn't tell people my age for the longest time. Um, I was enjoying nobody knowing how old I was, but now you guys know. Hey, Tate, what's up? Keep number 18. <laughs> oh, dude, this guy is a badass, man. That's like Ragnar Lothbrok right there from Vikings. Oh, that's pretty... That's kind of cool. <laughs> I wouldn't do it, but it's pretty cool. I, I respect all of you bald guys out there. And ladies. I greatly respect you. Alright? And if you make a bald character, I am afraid of you in PvP. Okay? I will run if you invade my world. That's like the emo look right there. <laughs> That's definitely the emo look. Whoa! That's like my hair. When I get out of the shower. And I don't know how to use hair products, so it always looks like that. Unless I have a my headset on. That's basically what my hair looks like. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with... This is definitely um, 80s metal band right there. I think I'm gonna go with... That's the Jesus look. I, that's pretty cool. Um. Honestly, I kind of like this. It's, it's like, really, it's a really rugged look. You know what I mean? Hair is the most important decision in character creation. Okay, I'm either going with this one. Oh my god, there's a mullet on this? That's basically a mullet right there. That is pretty badass. Or I'm going with this one. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Please do blonde highlights. Lizard says, I almost want to buy this just for the CC menu. Hello, David. What do you guys think? The long hair or do we go with the Ragnar? Or maybe I'll just go with that. Oh my god, that's that's pretty badass right there, too. It's a little bit too much in the eyes for me. Um, Hold on, let's come back up here. One second, guys. This is a really important decision. Really important decision. I feel like I want to go with the Viking look. You guys want the mullet? All right, I'm doing it. Done. Hair color, we're going to go... Hmm, interesting. I usually do black hair, but I don't think it looks good on this... This skin color that I'm rocking right now. This pale undead look. Honestly, might go with... Holy shit, this guy is badass, man. I think I like this a lot right here. I can't go full black. We'll go right there. It's kind of like an ashen black. Sure.
I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Last year, I looked in the mirror and I saw my first couple gray hairs ever. And I plucked them bastards out. And then four months later, they're back. And they're more squiggly than ever. Dark Raven, blue and purple. If you got gray hair in the chat, be proud of it, okay? It's a sign of wisdom. That mullet is so Australian. <laughs> I might try this haircut. If I ever cut my hair, maybe I'll go with that that particular haircut right there. All right, we're going to go with just a little bit of gray hair. Got to give him a little bit of a George Clooney look, you know what I mean? Okay, I think I'm good with that. See, the thing that scares me is when we get into the game, like there's a chance that all those gray hairs are just going to be so obvious because you just never know until you actually create the character. All right, eyebrows. I think I like those. Brow color. Sure, we'll have it match hair. Um, I think I'm good with that. Rouge darkness, match hair. Okay, I'm good with that. All right, facial hair. Here we go. All right, no facial hair. Looks pretty cool. Five o'clock shadow. <laughs> what do you guys think? Hey, Michael. I can tell you about old. You can have my gray hair. <laughs> hey, Baraz. My sister decided to go all white, and I like it. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you know, if you got the gray look going, you just gotta rock it and be confident. It's kinda like if you're bald, you gotta just be proud of it, man. If you're insecure with your baldness or your gray hair, then you're ugly, okay? If you're confident, then you're the hottest shit around. I'm very tempted to do this. I'm very tempted to do that. Or I just do the straight up st Oh my god. All right, I'm going to I'm going to do the safe choice. We'll go with that. That's a little bit too long. I do have pretty long eyelashes. Yeah, I'll go with that one. I mean, this guy looks exactly like me. It's a spitting image. And if anybody says different, two minute temporary ban. You hear that mods? Don't be afraid to use the ban hammer tonight. All right, here we go. Damn, look at the eye color. Look at the customization I have for this. This is crazy. I think I'm good with the size. Oh my God, you can have, oh my God, you can do each eye. Should we do the Dristo Erden look with the lavender eyes? Lavender is one of my favorite colors. I'm not gonna lie. Can't really see that well right now. Or I could go with white eyes. That'd be pretty cool. I might go Drist fanboy, guys. I'm not going to lie. You guys can make fun of me, but I don't even care. I'm going Drist fanboy. We got Iris and also the Cloudians. So hold on one second. All right, I'm going to do that. I think I'm good with that. And then we're going to go, we'll just match it. I think that looks pretty cool. You guys think it looks cool? I think it's pretty cool. Oh shit, my webcam? All right, hold on one second, guys. You got to be kidding me. Why does this happen on an Elden Ring stream night? Don't worry, I have a, I have a solution for this. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. Rory says, I want this character creator and everything. Me too, man. Me too. Why does my webcam break when I'm playing Elden Ring? All right, hold on one second, guys. I should be able to get it working again. Um, Let's go to... My Streamlabs program has changed a little bit. Video capture device. Add device. Webcam. Add source.
Okay, hold on one second, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be shitting me. What's up, Shy? Alright, hold on one second. I think I can get it back. Because I'm a damn pro at this. Video capture device, add source, webcam, add source. Why is it not showing? Shit. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? <laughs> How are you? Oh, shit. You guys can't see what's in the corner of my room right now. See, back in the day, I would have panicked right there. I would have panicked, and we would have had a no webcam stream. You know what, but... Can you guys hear me? All right, here we go. You can do pours in this game? That's absolutely nuts. Do we want open pours or closed pours? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Skin luster will leave it in the middle of dark circles. Let's check that one out a little bit. Okay, I think I'm good with that. And then dark circle color. All right, guys, I think we're almost ready here. Um, I don't think we need eyeliner for this guy. I think I kind of like it how it is right now, to be honest with you. All right, we're going to stick with it. You guys think I should put some lipstick on? Yeah, I think I'm good with it. All right, let's take let's check out the tattoos real fast. Oh my god, they got some cool looking tattoos. Hexus, thank you so much for the 4.99, brother. When I was 22, I started getting gray hair and my beard, or in your beard. <laughs> nice, Hex. You make me feel better. Thanks, man. Amber says open pores, while Samuel says closed pores. These are confusing me. You look sad and tired. That's perfect. It's perfect for Elden Ring. Everybody's sad and tired in this world. If you're happy in the world of Elden Ring, then you got problems. All right, guys, I'm going to go with... I think I'm just going to go with a scar. This actually looks really cool, but it looks like he's diseased. I think I'm going to go with that. I like that a lot. And I think I'm also good with the color. It can't be perfectly centered, because then people know. People know it's fake. I remember when I was in, I don't know, middle school? I remember I was, tr I wanted a face scar so bad that I like tried creating one on my face with my nails to go into school the next day. Um, it didn't work out. I just got made fun of, but I don't recommend that. I just wanted you guys to know that I tried one time. It's like he got slashed by a tiger or a wolf. Okay, I think I'm good with this. Eye patch. Oh my god, yes, 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 yes. Yes. I didn't expect to want to go with an eye patch, but this is. This is really cool. I'm doing it. So then when you guys make fun of me for dying to bosses, just remember I only have one eye. All right, we're going with that. Eye patch color. I think we're good with that. I think it's time. You know, you know what would really suck? <laughs> is if I hit the wrong button and we went back and I had to recreate my character right now. 
All right, so now we got a little bit of... Honestly, I think I'm good with his body type here. Um, body hair, we gotta make him... Gotta make him hairy, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's already on abundant. All right, I'm good with that. Body hair color red? That's weird. What? <laughs> Double eye patch? I'm not that good. I can't do that, but... Why did that story make me want to give you a pat on the back? You guys know you did a bunch of weird shit in middle school and high school to try to be cool. Oh, I wish I had a picture for you guys of me when I first went to high school. I tried spiking my hair. Back in the early 2000s, when I was in high school, spiked hair was the way to go. I mean, we were listening to Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block, LFO, Limp Biscuit. Spiked hair was the way to go, man. I put so much gel in my hair because I had such thick hair, I never know what to do with it. What's wrong with my webcam right now? I'm going to stop telling stories and we're going to uh, play the game. It looks like we're uh, my webcam's super laggy. Does it look all right to you guys? Definitely something wrong with it, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's get into the game. All right, just remember guys, I'm playing the wretch class right now. So we are literally level one with an even stat distribution of 10 across the board from vigor all the way down to arcane. And I believe some of the other starting classes start you at like level nine or 10 with much higher stats. And also you get to start with good armor. So I'm starting with a shitty club. So everything that we find is gonna be important on this playthrough. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this. I didn't want to go in and feel like I was stuck with a certain build, even though you're technically not. I wanted to go in and explore and come across new items and be excited for those items as opposed to just discarding them. So, all right. That's why he's got a club shy because uh, I'm playing the, uh, I'm playing the, uh, the wretch starting class. So you don't get really anything. Here we go. Time for some cinematics. Looks like a level one barbarian. <laughs> Hex says, I just started my game as a samurai. Nice, Hex. Good luck to you. All right, we should have a little bit of a lengthy cinematic to start out here. And here we go. The fallen leaves tell a story. Checking volume levels for you guys. The Lands Between. That's the name of the place that we're at. Oh, shit! Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. Okay, all right. And in the Night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. From software knows how to do cinematics. Very mature cinematics. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. We turn it up a little bit for you guys. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering a war from which no lord arose we can't turn up the volume right now guys till we get into the game a war leading to abandonment by the greater will damn this artwork is epic Oh, rise now, ye tarnished. Say what? Ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. I'm about to rip off my shirt right now. Oh. 
chieftain of the Badlands. The ever brilliant Gold Mask. Yeah, that's me. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. Say what? <laughs> the dung eater? <laughs> and Sir Gideon Othnir. They all know him. Hello? I can't believe and it is. One I can't believe that we're playing this right now. Whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Hey, don't speak about me like that. Across the fog to the lands between. That's me. Guys, look, that's me. To stand before the Elden Ring. Hey, what's up, Magnus? Thank you so much for your ten and months of membership. The Elden Lord. No problem. Just send me in. Give me a club. Let's get this game over with. Come on. Bet you won't take it off. Pretty sure I'll get kicked off of YouTube if I do it. You guys don't want to see under under my shirt anyways. I'm not the same guy I was a couple years ago. All right. Here we go, guys. Um, it looks like everything's working. Webcam seems to be working. It looks a little weird tonight. I'm not sure why the webcam's off tonight, but it is what it is. I'm not going to mess with anything because we're finally in. Let me um, up the game volume just a little bit. Hold on one second. Just double checking all these settings. So I want to go here. I want to go to board, borderless windowed. And then I can control my stream a little bit better. There we go. Now I can up volume for you guys a little bit. You guys will have to let me know if that's too loud when the game actually begins when we start fighting. Okay. Getting 60 FPS right now. It's a good start. Everything running smooth, guys? Okay, we got light attacks. We got heavy. We got jump. Controls are working. What a blessing. I, I figured that the controller wouldn't work right, but it is working right. Somebody already died in this room because there's a blood stain right here. All right, here we go. Praise the Elden Ring. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you Souls fans? On a scale fan? of 1 to 10, how excited are you Souls fans? Can you guys answer that for whoever that was? I'll look uh, on our break to see who at, who that actually was. All right. Tarnished Wizard. Wizened. Oh, I thought it said Wizard. Tarnished wi Wizened Finger. Okay. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. All right, let me just get a little bit more feel here, guys. Let's go into our inventory. Oh, this is the map. With the map menu, you can check your current position in terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks. I wonder if those will show up on in the actual game. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. Okay, so sites of grace are similar to bonfires. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay, and I think we have to discover the map. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I think we have to discover map fragments as we keep playing, and then the map will slowly start to reveal itself to us. So right now, there should be nothing. Dragon Pink says, hit that like button, everyone. Give Wolf all the love. Thank you, Dragon. Keep saying... Keep thinking I'm saying Elven Ring. <laughs> okay, let me just figure out how to get into our... Okay, there we go. So that's that button. We got equipment. 
With the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, and talismans, and items. You can equip up to three armaments, each to your left and right hands. These actions... Okay. So, Pretty Dark Souls 3. For some reason, guys, I can't, uh... I can't get out of this menu right here. I have to press escape on my keyboard. That's weird. And we don't have any weapons right now, so I'll accept the club. The club is 103 plus 10 with a strength C rating. 41 physical, 27 magic, 27 fire. All right. And we got our secondary weapons for our shield and our bows. And then our armor, and of course we have none. And then this must be quick items okay all right with the inventory menu you can browse the items you're carrying drop them on the ground or throw them away you can also use tools from the inventory menu okay and then we have this finger used to write messages to other worlds okay so if i so if i use this you can write a message and there's a chance that another player in another game even though we're technically playing single player right now, there's a chance that another player will be able to read my message so you can use it for, like, warnings for boss fights or traps. Kit, thank you so much for stopping in, and thank you for the two donation. Hype, wolf pack, best pack. With the status menu, you can check your level, attributes, base stats, and more. Okay. It's weird using the keyboard and my controller at the same time. All right, with the messages menu, you can write messages that players in other worlds can read at the spot where you left them. You can change the message format to leave more complex messages. All right, I'm probably not going to mess with that too much tonight. And then we can write words. Oh, let's try one real fast. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, really stupid message, though. It didn't really mean anything. And I think we're pretty much good here. And then we got multiplayer and system. All right, let's go. Break a couple things. I'm nervous to open this door. That's why I'm uh, procrastinating. <laughs> Is there any town in the game? I'm not sure about town, but there's definitely uh, hub areas. Wow. Chapel of Anticipation. Okay, so I'm pretty sure as the Wretched class, we're probably going to get one shot by most things, so I got to be really careful. Be really careful. Okay, no items here. And we need everything that we can get right now, and it looks like there's nothing. Thanks for stopping in, Kit. He's got... Hey, don't talk about my pancake butt, all right? You're making me feel insecure. The door is blocked shut. Okay. Okay, it looks like there's not even one item to help us out here. It looks like we're going to get, like, a mini tutorial, kind of, where we get to learn the controls. Elden Ring ahead. Good luck ahead. Um... Okay, I honestly was about to jump off. <laughs> I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I think you're supposed to go this way. <laughs> that would have been a great start. A great start to Elden Ring. If I'm going to die, I want to die to a boss, okay? Precious item ahead. How's the game volume, guys? Looks like it's decent levels. Maybe I need to lower it just a little bit. Okay, we really could use a little bit of armor. Got to check everything here. Um, there is a jump in this game. Okay. Let's see if I can jump to this ledge. Oh, I don't even have to. Okay. Secret passage ahead. I think that might be a troll. <laughs> I think that might be a troll. I, I don't know if I want my first death to be uh, listening to somebody's note. So let's go back this way. The wretch is the deprived of the game. It starts at level 1 with 10 on all stats and just a club for weapons. It's the weakest starting class in Elden Ring. Yes, thank you, Braz, for the description. Um, the, the main reason why I wanted to do the wretch 
was well you guys know I, I enjoy I enjoy the challenge but also you're not kind of you're not locked you're not, you're not locked into any build but you don't feel locked into anything you start with even stats and then I can play and kind of develop this build as I go so any weapon that I pick up I'm gonna be interested in if I can use it as opposed to starting with dual scimitars or starting with a great sword um, I feel like this is gonna be a more a more enjoyable way to start and not feel like I have to pursue one particular path and then of course the extra challenge is always nice too i mean i'm saying that now until i die like four million times no item ahead well that means we're gonna search anyways try fingers butthole <laughs> i can stop reading these messages i wonder if they have like illusionary walls in this game god look how beautiful this game is guys it's a gigantic open world I am just beyond, you guys don't even know how happy I am right now to be playing this. And thank you guys for uh, hanging out on this stream to watch it, I appreciate it. I see that we have 600 something watching right now, that's more than I expected for a game that's already been, uh, that's already been streamed and a million YouTube videos have already been out for the past couple days, so thank you guys for stopping him. I'll probably be playing this for the next couple weeks and then on and off after that. We'll go back to Baldur's Gate and a couple other games. This will probably be the focus for the next couple weeks, though, so. Man, there's no, there's nothing here for me to get. There's nothing. Jeremy Martinez with a $20 donation. Hey, Wolf I like and Pat. Oh. butts, and I cannot lie. You Otha brothers can't deny. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sakara Kit. I'm assuming that's you. I appreciate it. It's pretty funny. And Jeremy Martinez with a $20 donation. Hey, Wolf and Pack, been a while. Wolf, keep us... Keep up the good work. Miss you all. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Hope all is well with you, man. I hope you're making progress with your uh, with your tabletop game, guys. Jeremy has built a tabletop game from scratch, from ground up. Unbelievable amount of work that he put into it. I hope that it's going well with you, Jeremy. I'm sure it's probably uh, tough to get things started like it is with most, most things, but I really hope that you keep pursuing that. Because that was really cool, um, you showing me that. Sorry guys, I'm searching everything right now um, because I'm playing the wretch and I really need any advantage that I can get right now. Shy Violet's been a member for over so oh, shit! It's gonna have to wait, Shy. Oh shit. Scary the shy. Can I block? What the hell was that? I don't even know what I just did. I should have tested these things out. All right, can you sprint? Yes, you can. You hold down. All right, it's the same as Dark Souls. Calm yourself, Wolf. It's, everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Just do your thing. I know you're naked. Gotta learn his animations. I don't know what that rage is. Oh, it is a barbaric roar. Braz, you weren't kidding when you, when you said it looks like a barbarian. Let's go, baby. This guy's nothing. I've done, like, no damage to him. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, Shy, thank you for your 17-plus uh, months of channel membership. Oh, f I'm already dead, and I don't even have a single health potion. Are you kidding me? Maybe I shouldn't have played the wretch. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, we got to get aggressive now. Shit. Don't be, uh... Don't... Don't be dissuaded by me, guys. Oh. Shy says, moment of silence for the man with the flattest buns around. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, oh, it's one of those bosses. Okay. Okay, I feel better. That doesn't count. That doesn't count as a death. That does not count as a death. Nope, that doesn't count. It's one of those bosses that you're allowed to die for in the beginning. Deathless run right now. See, I thought that boss was, like, legit. I mean, I know you can kill it, but I was like, damn, this game's going to be tough. I thought it was just because I was playing the wretch class, but I think it's just supposed to be difficult for the first boss that they give you. Are we getting our steed right now? Scripted don't, don't count. Torrent. Thank you, Kit. Fortune is on his side. Thank you. 
At least you're not making fun of my flat buns. I got a little bulge right there. Harry back. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Okay, all right. Flatbread, all right, two minute temporary ban. The, golden order. the next person that makes fun of my buns. Not so slim shady with a $5 donation. Did we all get refunds since Wolf died already? <laughs> Thanks, Slim. Hey, watch it on the cheeks, guys, all right? That's a nice ass right there. You guys kidding me? You got a little bubble butt. Ten out of ten. Coconut oil massage. All right, I feel a little better that we got a cutscene after that death. Flask of Crimson Tears. Okay, so this must be our health potions? Cerulean, Cerulean Tears. Is that mana? Okay. Alright, so I used up one of my health potions, and if we want to switch it, we just press down on the D-pad, and we have mana and health. Okay. And for those of you guys that aren't familiar with these games, um, in Souls games, you have a limited amount of health potions and mana potions, and when you consume them all, you have to basically find a bonfire and then rest at the bonfire to get them back. But when you do that, all of the enemies in the world respawn. Alright. Let's go, baby. Um, it looks like... Wow, it's really starting us off with two different directions to go here, too. Oh, that... Oh, so... And, and that up there, guys, is another player. But they're not actually in my world. They're just showing the activity of other players. Take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war in your warrior's blood. Okay, that was real awkward. I have a feeling that maybe I can't go through this door. Oh yeah, I can feel once in a while there's an FPS drop. But it's playable so far. Alright, so I don't think I can block with the weapon in this game. I think he must have to have a shield, and that's my barbaric roar. Oh, okay, and you guys, in the top left, you can see that it used up a little bit of my mana bar, I believe. So then I would switch to this, and I would drink this, and it will give it back to me. Okay, alright. I know I'm wasting things right now, but it's better to waste things now <laughs> than try to figure things out in combat. What do you know? It's our first bonfire. Or t or place of grace, whatever the hell they call it in this game. So let's go ahead and rest, and then we should get our health flasks back. Stone sword key. Okay, so it looks like we need a key for the fog to let up here. I wonder if that's a boss. Not entirely sure. All right, use Tarnish Furled Finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you've had once you've summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, Furled Finger, and your objective is to defeat the boss area, or the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. All right, so I'm going to refrain from summoning because I want to beat these bosses on my own. But um, later on, guys, I'll definitely open up uh, my game for cooperative play with some of you guys if you need help with a boss or something. I don't know if I'm the guy to call for help, though, to be honest with you, but... I do enjoy doing my first Souls playthrough single player. That looks like an illusionary wall. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and rest here, and then I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna go check out that other room. I can't wait till we walk out into the open world. It's exciting. Proctal says, try going two-handed with that club. Oh, yeah, what's the, uh, shit, what's the button for doing that? Triangle? 
I dodge up on the D-pad? Nope. I don't know the button. Oh my god, you can crouch in this game. I forgot about that. Maybe we'll go like a stealth build. I know I titled the stream Paladin, but I'm really open to anything that uh, comes our way. Um, shit, I remember doing this in Dark Souls. How do you two-hand it? Oh, look, if you hold down triangle, lose all runes to return to the last site of grace visited. No. All right, let's rest right here. The controls are ridiculous with mouse and keyboard. I'm sure they are. All right, so we have pastime, flasks, memorize spells, sort chest. All right, so let's go add charge to flask, increase amount replenished by flasks. Oh, you know what? I do have that seed. Use one golden seed to increase the number of flasks. Yes, please. All right, so we should have four flasks now, I believe, after we rest. And then to increase the amount replenished, use a sacred tier to increase the amount of HP and FP replenished by your flask. So whatever a sacred tier is, make sure we keep an eye out for it. All right, with this menu, you can allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flask uses. You can decide how many of those uses are for the HP and how many for for mana. Okay, so that's pretty normal for a Dark Souls game. Um, I think I'll leave it at four and one. That sounds good for now, but I do plan on doing a little bit of magic. All right, let's pass some time. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. This is the first time you've been able to uh, choose how much time you wanted to pass in a, in a Dark Souls game. Because I believe there is a day and night cycle in this game. All right, we will um, we'll rest until morning. I don't think I'm going to start the game out at nighttime. Tate, Tate, Tate. I, I don't know yet, uh, Vlad. I was thinking Faith Build Paladin, but like I said, I'm open to many different builds now that I'm playing the Wretch, so we're just gonna play and just go with the flow and see what we get. Um, I don't know how to switch to two-handed, though, and I should learn that right now. Ah, oh, shit. Well, we, we wasted our mana. Definitely never gonna press that again. All right, we got jump, roll, left on the D-pad to switch weapon. I can't remember what it was in Dark Souls. I have no idea. There's no, there's literally no button that it can be right now. Um, I wonder if it... Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit. Toggle auto lock on. I might have to keep that off. Let's go to controls. Here we go. All right, strong attack, light attack, skill, guard, movement, crouch, Huh. I don't know. What's up, Clavis? As a wretch, you can never level or get armor, otherwise it's not a wretch. Oh. I can never level? Damn, that's rough. Huh. All right, well, we'll figure that out as we go. No, holding right does not do it. I don't know how to switch to two-handed. We were just playing Dark Souls like last week and I was switching to two-handed all the time. Hexa says, hold Y and right bumper. Thank you very much. I never would have tried that, Hex. So thank you so much. Beautiful. All right, that'll get us used to using a two-handed sword. All right, guys, I'm going to go back this way. Bear with me for a little bit as I uh, as I learn the game. I have a harder time learning when I'm streaming, too, because I got so much on my mind, so I might be a little bit slow with things. Oh, there might not be anything in this room, actually. Look at my pancake butt cheeks. Thanks, Hux. That helped a lot, actually. I forget what the control was in Dark Souls. All right, so it looks like we actually have to go back up this way. I'm just gonna take this game slow and explore every Get nook and cranny. <laughs> Who commented that? Was that you, Shy?
Listen to the ambience in the game, guys. Can we multiplay in the game? Yeah, there is multiplayer. Uh, you can invade other worlds, and you can also summon friends to help you out and join you. I don't know the details for it, but th there is a way to do it. I feel like I want to, like, ever since the first Souls game, maybe they've all been like this. Ever since I discovered illusionary walls, like, I feel like I have to swing at every single wall that's in front of me. I have a problem. All right, here we go. And now I can block, too, when, when I have the club two-handed. Pretty sweet, man. Go hit the wall again two-handed? I don't think that would do anything, Shannon. At least it hasn't in previous Souls games. I'm gonna stop hitting walls. We, we've barely fought any enemies and I've been playing for an hour. Oh, I know this, guys. I know this from the trailer. Welcome, guys, welcome to the lands between. Oh my God. I can't believe there's an open world Souls game on the market right now. This is unbelievable. You guys don't know how long I've been waiting for this. I've always loved the Souls games the way they are, but I never imagined getting a truly open world one. This is just unbelievable. Wow, look at it. So there's obviously a lot of lore behind that tree right there. And we can go anywhere, anywhere that you guys see. Uh, once we get our horse, and I don't think you get your horse right away in the beginning. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Yep, so we have to find map fragments. Um, I guess I'll go up to this bonfire right here first. Kendra, thank you so much for the Canadian $20 donation. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. Keep up the grind, man. Thank you so much, Kendra. Appreciate you guys. Uh, sorry for missing so much chat tonight. Those of you guys that are new around here, I'm usually pretty attentive, but uh, on a night like tonight, I think uh, the viewer will get more, ex more enjoyment out of me actually understanding the game and playing. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. Okay. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Okay, so look out for the golden rays, I guess. Oh, it really sucks that I gotta use my keyboard to exit out of that. Oh yeah, you guys can see the, uh, damn, this looks incredible, man. Use your map to check your current position, as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments along the road. You can also make use of the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks. Alright, so we have to find map fragments as we play. And it looks like they're showing us what they look like through those blue beams in the sky. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Yes, ma'am. Or of sir. Of you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Oh, great. This this person's just like the chat. You guys have no damn faith in me. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me. Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. Okay. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. I'll take whatever path I want. So you're going to shut your damn mouth before grace's I swing this club at your skull. Holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow. Guy's Even pissing me off. Leads you to your grave. I might start swinging. I might start swinging right now. 
This guy thinks he's funny. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod. Godric. Godric. The Grafted. Grafted. Cool, man. All right, let me talk one more time. It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale okay. on the cliff. Damn, guys. Would guide you. Alright, did I get this yet? I don't know if you have to rest at them to officially capture them or what. Okay, I think we're good. I'm just gonna leave. Um, before we go and follow the grace, I'm just gonna come over here. Oh man, we got birds. <laughs> oh shit. Somebody died right here. The bloodstains don't seem to be working. So usually if you click on a blood stain, it shows you the death of another player. They don't seem to be working though. Oh my god, this is just beautiful. I'm a little bit nervous about these things. But I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Wow. Oh my god, this this is my favorite game I've ever played in my entire life. My entire life. Faded Dragon Tear landed here by Dad looking up game. So flat, it needs a training bra and a box of tissues to impress. Okay, stream over. <laughs> hey, Faded Dragon Tear, uh, congrats on however many uh, subs you have. You obviously have 100k plus. Landed here by looking up gameplay for this class. Had a moment of, wait a second, I know this guy, it's the Baldur's Gate guy, good luck. Hey, thank you, Faded. I appreciate you, man. I'll definitely check out your channel after the stream's over. Thanks for stopping him. Maybe it's just really cold, not a lot happening with that. Now you guys are making fun of... <sighs> I might have to start a new channel and form a new community. This is ridiculous. I've never felt so damn insecure in my entire life. Thought my middle school days were over. Guys, this is just absolutely beautiful. Why can't I swing anymore? Uh-oh. Oh no, we're having the controller problem. You guys remember when I had this with Dark Souls? I couldn't do the light. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shit. Guys, it did the same thing. Oh, no, 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 no. It did the same thing. Hold on, let's watch these birds fly off. God, they are so cool. I'm never going to kill one of those, man. It's the eagle. This is America. Um, hopefully these things don't attack, because all I have is heavy attack. Wow, look at this, guys. What the hell are those? Are they nugs? <laughs> so cool. Welcome to the internet. <laughs> What's up, Necromancer? All right, acquire materials. In every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Definitely plan on doing crafting in this game, for sure. Um, we are having controller problems right now, though, guys, so I might have to restart the game. Um, let me look at my inventory. I want to make sure we take every item slowly. All right, so it's the Arteria Leaf. Exceedingly rare to find. Damn, that was a good find, I guess. Get him, baby. Eagles will come save you. This isn't Lord of the Rings, Clavis. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if they actually did. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a light attack right now, so that's a major problem. Major, major problem. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the game. Let's just go ahead and take a, take this all in. And there's multiple trees. Looks like we have a mother tree and then a bunch of other ones. They must have some significant purpose. Why is it always a bog? That person said, uh oh, you guys. Oh, shit. What is that right there? Oh, no. Oh, no. You guys see that right there? Whatever it is, it's big and it's scary. All right, I'm going to come up here. Oh, oh, man, we're going to kill it, man. I don't know if I can while I'm naked. Oh, shit. All right, what the hell is this? 
In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. Am I pronouncing that right? You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small... Okay. Um, we'll do that. We'll do that in a later session for sure, guys. And it looks like I picked up one. Okay. So we just got to look out for those. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. Let's go up here, and I think I'm going to restart my game. Let's go to quick game. 36 minutes. Let me bring you guys over to the chat and screen for a second. Whoa, that's bright. I'm actually going to restart Steam. Let's hope we don't have that problem again. And thank you guys again for stopping in tonight, and I appreciate all the thumbs up on the stream. Greatly appreciate it. Naked and afraid, baby. Riozan with a $5 donation, so who is keeping track of your deaths? I mean, nobody, because I have zero deaths right now, because we're not counting the first one, alright? Alright, let's start it back up. And hope that it works this time. Yeah, there's something wrong with my webcam tonight, too. Like, the FPS is off, and it's a little more jittery than normal. I don't know what's going on. Damn it, Elden Ring. Where is Blight Town? Did you do a full playthrough of the Pathfinder games? I did not. Nope, I have to return to them. Um, they've just been quite... They've been, they've been stressful games to stream. Uh, a lot of reading, so they're not very stream-friendly for myself. Every time I do it, um, uh, my vocal cords end up hurting, so it might be an offline game that I play, even though I don't play games too much offline. Um, but unfortunately, I stopped playing, even though I'm a big fan of it, and I love it, and I hope to return to it sometime, because I know we have a DLC coming out in March. All right, is this actually working? Run it as administrator. Okay, here we go. I wonder if I should do big picture mode. Let's try big picture mode. Okay, here we go. It should come up on the screen here in a second, guys. Interesting that they're making us run this anti-cheat. I didn't know they did anti-cheats. Oh, they have to do anti-cheat because this is a PvP game, too. That's why. That's why. Hello, Lady Softpaw. Every death counts. Keep seeing flat cheeks, flat cheeks comments in the chat. And I'm getting pissed off. Craig says, if I'd stream Pathfinder, I'd skip the dialogues. You know, I could do that. But then I, I can't skip the dialogues, though. I have to at least read them. I could read them silently. It just doesn't, it's just not a good stream game. Because I want to read the dialogues. Because I love the story and what's going on. For some reason, I had to stop playing Pathfinder. I think it's because we got a Baldur's Gate patch, and then I didn't return to it, but I did stream it a couple weeks ago. And, uh, come on, please work. There we go. Okay, we got our light attack back. I did stream it a couple weeks ago, and, uh, yeah, it's just a, it's a tough game to stream. Some CRPGs are just not good stream games. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, in my life, I don't have a lot of time to play offline uh, when I'm not streaming. I don't even stream that much, but I have a lot of, uh... We all live our lives differently and have, uh... Spend different amounts of time gaming and stuff, and... Oh, shit, I gotta be real careful of this guy. I got a lot of family members that, that need help and stuff, so... Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not gaming at all times. Be nice. My body doesn't want to game at all times anyways. Unless it's Elden Ring. Now, I might kill one of these for crafting purposes. <laughs> All right, Thin Beast Bones. Interesting. I wonder if those are used for crafting as well. Ooh, look at this, guys. All right, so we're right here. Make sure we keep keep good track of where we're at right now. So this is um, a point of grace. I wanted to check my... Shit, wrong button. Wrong button, guys. Go to inventory. All right, yeah, so crafting materials. Thin Beast Bones. Interesting, interesting. 
All right, I should really follow the uh, the golden strands, the yellow brick road. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. I think I want to kill this goat down here. Gotta be real careful with our health here. I treat all animals equally, except these goats. <laughs> I don't like these guys. <laughs> Am I getting any XP? Beast liver. Okay, we're gonna need that. I can't believe that my character's still naked. Like, we need a little bit of armor here, man. Oh, look at this. Tarnished golden sunflower. I feel like gathering's gonna be a lot of fun in this game. It's more fun to gather materials in an open world than the more linear Souls, previous Souls games. Damn, look at it out here, guys. It's just so exciting to look out here and know that I can get to that island and there's probably a dungeon on it. So exciting. Next big cap message will be removed with, with timeout, says Baraz. You guys hear that? You guys pissed Baraz off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Baraz is like Dragon Pink. I don't question what Baraz does. All right? You guys better watch yourself. The hell is this? Shit. I don't think I can hit that thing. Nope. All right, let's go follow the gold thing. Oh my god, look at the leaves. This is incredible. This is a really beautiful open world. A lot of people talk crap about the uh, graphics in the trailer of, of this game. A lot of people talk craps about, crap about Souls graphics in general because they're a different style. This is damn beautiful now that we're playing. Alright, I gotta be real, real careful. Our mission is to find something to wear. <laughs> as fast as possible. I'm afraid like I'm gonna miss a dungeon or something. Oh, we got a little FPS drop. You know what I mean? I feel like there might be a dungeon on this building, so let me just run around it again real quick. Shit, never mind. Apparently these flat cheeks can't jump. Mirage says, I'm just over here listening while I play Elden Ring. Very nice, Mirage. I'm so excited for everybody that's playing right now. Alright, we're gonna continue on, guys. Looks like there's no secret here. At least not one that I can find. Damn, look at the moon. Oh, we gotta be real careful, because that guy on the steed is very close. I could fight him, but I feel like he's probably not someone that I want to mess with. Ruined fragments. Hmm. That must be for crafting, too. Oh, cool. This is the tutorial right here. The ruined fragment is a consumable. Interesting. It's a consumable, but it's also material used for crafting items. Okay. That must be why. Whoa, what? Oh shit, I hear that guy. Oh my god, he's real close to us right now. Did you guys see that guy? He turned into a roly-poly. Alright, this guy is really close right now. You guys think I should try it? <laughs> you guys think I should try it? There's no way I can kill this guy. I don't even have my horse right now. There's absolutely no way I can win that fight. This is like a professional fight right here. We're gonna let him pass. Are those flat buns gluten-free? Alfonso says, I was so excited about your visit to Belgium. Very happy for your wolf. Just passed real quick to see you doing amazing stuff. As always, hope you can read me. Thanks, Alfonso. Appreciate your support, man. Yeah, Belgium was a great time. Thanks to you. Oh, shit! Let me return back to our lookout point here. I feel like it'd be really cool to do like a 
You guys see that? Every once in a while, there's an FPS drop. I feel like it'd be really cool to do a stealth. Oh my god, did I throw that stone all the way over here? Oh, that's a skull. I feel like it'd be really cool to do a stealth, like, assassin build. But it's probably super difficult um, to play the game like that. So maybe we'll save that for a later playthrough. Okay, so this is just telling us to go this way. So we're going to have to go past him. And I believe that we're going to that castle right there. So let's just... Let's just go for it. Um, I don't know about that. Gotta be real careful here. Red Hand says, I keep stopping to stare at the tree. I, I'm staring at everything right now. This is, this is incredible. And despite the random FPS drops, at least they're only once in a while, it seems. Um, it looks like I'm running at 60 FPS for the majority of the time. Which is what I figured it would be like, because a lot of people that reviewed the game... Um, said that they played on PC and they still gave the game a really high rating, so. Uh-oh. Should be, I might, I might try to go kill that thing that I just saw in the distance right here. I say we do it. I feel like I might actually have to kill some of the eagles for crafting materials at some point. Oh shit, there's two of them. What do you guys think? I think I gotta go for it. I think I gotta go for it. Right when he turns, we're going for it. Oh, shit. There's three of them. Oh, my God. This is not good. Oh, we're getting some FPS drop. I gotta, I gotta learn the controls a little better. I was crouched right there. I think if I go up here, I'll probably jump on one. You can, you can do jump attacks in this game. That's pretty cool. It's actually really cool. These guys really aren't that good. I'm just bad right now. Could probably throw one of those rune fragments at him and knock him out of the sky. Oh, shit. Okay, all right, all right. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flask. The number and type of flask to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Okay, pretty basic souls knowledge. Let's see if we can loot any of these guys. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was pretty bad, but at least we didn't die. Bats are going to give you Corona. <laughs> Golden Rune. The hell is that? Used to gain a small number of runes. Okay, so runes are basically souls in this game, I think. It's your currency. Okay, let's press on. A little bit of FPS drop in that fight. A little bit annoying, but for the most part, it's still playable right now, so. What's up, Enzeville? How are you? And Michael Scholar with the overwhelmingly massive long name for chat. What's up, Michael? We really need to get some armor immediately. Let's uh, let's head towards the castle. Look how beautiful this is. You guys can see the sun is setting right now. 
Uh oh, we got an elemental up here. I do not have any more health flasks. Oh, you know what I recognize? I recognize this area from gameplay a long time ago, and it looks like, yep, looks like we have another bonfire up here. It's a good thing I came this way. We could have missed this. I believe this is our hub area for now. Don't forget the dual wield. Also, R2 in the air does good stagger. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, I haven't found another uh, weapon yet. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. I'm going to pass some time. Use the bat wings to make a skirt. <laughs> I like the way you think, Darcia. All right, we should be back to four health flasks. Yes, we are. Okay, perfect. All right, is that Santa Claus? At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Okay. With a smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Okay, you can strengthen up to plus three at a smithing table. All right, so we need smithing stones, too, and then also runes, I believe. 230 runes, if I'm understanding this correctly. We can't do that right now. Hello. You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale. Purveyor of fine goods. Carle. Kale? Carle? Carly? <laughs> is this a good first Souls game for newcomers? I think out of all the Souls games, this is probably the most beginner-friendly Enzoville, just because of the open-world nature. It allows you to kind of level up and fight bosses at your own pace and in whatever order that you want. And the other Souls games are a little bit more linear, so you kind of get stuck on a boss and you can't go anywhere. In this game, you can kind of wander the world and level up your stats and make your character a little bit overpowered. And also, there's a lot of powerful spells in this game, too, that I think are going to make it much easier than the previous Souls games. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished, like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer.
goodbye. Nice to do business. Check that. Sorry, guys. That wasn't actually me. My microphone cord goes by me sometimes. Check, check, check. I'm seeing volume levels now. Anyways, uh, yeah. Forget everything that I just told you guys. Because <laughs> I'm not saying it again. Alright, so I have 900 runes. Um, What's I need just a little bit more so we can purchase something. It looks like it's working. Um, and I think maybe I want to buy a shield first. Maybe I'll do that right now, actually. Yeah, we're going to do that. Leather shield for 600. Oh, look at this. Crafting kit. Enables the practice of item crafting. Maybe I should buy that. Now nah, we'll buy a shield first. Can't craft if we can't. Goodbye. Nice to do business. All right. I got something. Oh, shit. Is it working? See, I got tape on my microphone here. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Al with a $25 super chat. What's up, Big Al? Appreciate your support, man. Let me go into performance mode here, guys. Hold on one second. Thanks, Big Al. Looks like my computer is actually having kind of a hard time running this game and streaming right now. What's up, Kieran? Thank you, Big Al. And hello, Amis. Happy Thursday. All right, let's go ahead and equip our... Yeah, sorry guys, I'm a noob at this game. I didn't get early access to it like everybody else did. And then we got a shield, and we got that. Alright, perfect. And if I want to go two-handed, Hex told us triangle and right bumper. <laughs> Look at my butt cheeks right now. They're nice, aren't they? And then if I want to leave two-handed, simply... Okay, just press it again. Perfect. All right, we're definitely going to use the shield, and I, I'm assuming that I should probably go out and farm some souls before we do anything crazy. How many souls do I have left? What is it? Everything's working? Okay, cool. Faded says he won the bat fight, but used all his flasks, and yes, mic issues persist. <laughs> I should probably buy a torch, too. I'm going to buy the crafting kit right now. We'll see what that does. Goodbye. Nice to do business. You're welcome, sir. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from the materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu. Okay. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Okay. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items. Okay, I already read that. Sorry. We have bone... Interesting. Bone darts. That's pretty cool. On horseback, feed to torrent to restore HP. So it looks like we have to make raisins for our horse to eat to get the HP. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize the horse was going to have HP. Um, let's go ahead and do our first craft. So we get used to it. We need two thin beast bones to make a dart. And then I'm going to go ahead and craft one of these too. And for those, we need the row of fruits, which we gathered earlier. Okay, now let's go take a look at it in our inventory. Alright, there we go. We got HP for our horse whenever we get the horse. And then we have the bone dart and the throwing dagger. Now I'd like to put these onto my... My bar. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Man, if I didn't play a Souls game before, I'd probably be really lost right now. Thank thankfully, I have some understanding of what this stuff kind of does. Alright, so let's switch over to our dart, and let me try throwing that. Okay. Can we pick it back up? I didn't even see where it went. Is that, that That's it on the ground right there, I think. <laughs> Alright. You can't pick it back up after you use it. Okay. All right, let's go back out into the world. That's telling us to go towards the tree. Maybe I should do that. Wish me luck, guys. We're going back out. How long until the horse dies? Are you guys insulting me right now? I love all of the uh, gatherables right now. This is really cool. I don't know about you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I love the animations for the roly-polies. Okay, um, hold on, where did that... Let me back up a little bit. Where is that thing telling us to go? It only gives you, like, an idea of the direction. It's just telling us to go towards the tree, I think, so let's do it. But we're gonna go up and explore this cliff first. Where's my horsey? Should be getting one sometime soon. You know, I'd feel much more comfortable if I had a little bit of armor right now, guys. Maybe it wasn't a good idea choosing this starting class. But you know what? I'm proud to represent the flat bun crew. Because I know some of you guys in this audience, you guys have flat buns. And I'm proud to represent you guys, okay? They might be flat, but they're damn nice. They're sturdy. A little bit of bounce to them. Give them a nice smack. All right, let's, I kind of want to go down to the beach. I feel like there's going to be like a dungeon down there or something. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Oh, th is this a... M those returning to the roots. What does that mean? I'm going to follow it. Let's go to that right now. I remember map fragments were, like, blue on the map, so I wonder if it has something to do with that. Gotta be careful with cliffs. That I plan on not dying to a cliff even once on this playthrough. What's up, Zyphiel? Clavis says I gotta go to the store in order to have puns. <laughs> nice, man. Okay, I'm not sure where this thing was pointing us to, but uh-oh, uh-oh. What do you guys think? I think it's a yes. Maybe they'll drop a little bit of armor. This guy looks like he's a straggler. Let's go get him first. What if I should throw a dart at him? Let's try throwing a dart. Oh, wow, it missed. I can't get him while he's moving. Or you have to get him uh, with a... straighter line of sight to his path. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. We got something up here, guys. All right, before we go in here, I'm going to see if I can go kill that guy because I'd like to try to get some form of drop. Oh, shit. Alright, it should work like this. Nice, it actually did a lot of damage. Alright, I think I can take on this entire camp. What do you guys think? Am I at zero deaths right now, or are you guys counting that first one? Are you guys going to be mean and count that first one? I wonder if you can get a backstab with the club. I'm gonna try. This is a good game. This is gonna be a fun game. You get the horse after resting at three graces. Okay. I thought I did rest at three. Maybe I need one more. Alright, let's just, uh... 
I'm playing like an assassin right now, but I'm really a barbarian. So let's go. Oh, miss. <laughs> let's see what these guys do. Okay, we can do this. Club's pretty powerful. It looks like they don't want to fight, actually. I wonder if there's some lore behind these creatures. There probably is, but you know what? Screw it. I need all the loot I can get. The world of the lands between is not a friendly one. It's kind of surreal that we're like an hour, hour and a half into playing Elden Ring right now. It's a little bit surreal. Okay, let's go inside the dungeon. The sunset's beautiful. You guys are giving me... Clavis is giving me a 0.25 of a death. Okay, I can work with that. Whatever says you want to bet someone beat that boss? Bet what? Of course someone beat it. Probably 5 million people playing this game right now. Okay, I'm going in. There's probably people already doing fully naked runs. There's so many good Souls players out there. Seems like a mercy kill. Oh yeah, and the mechanics are very similar to Dark Souls 3, so there's people that are probably owning in this game. Not to mention, there's people that have already played for 100 plus hours because they got the game early, so... Alright, this is our third race. Am I gonna get my horse now? Not sure. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call you. Everything's going to die in this game, guys, except innocent wildlife. Well, you know what? The goats don't count, though. Be wary of left. So let's see if this note is accurate. There should be somebody on our left side right here. Oh, see? That was a good note. What the hell is this? Oh, shit. And right. Oh, shit. How do I get that barbarian rage? Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Damn it. Gotta keep my shield up here. Almost died there. Uh, I started getting a little bit of hack and slashy. Or it looks like I'm bleeding right now. Um, I don't know how to do that Barbarian Rage that I activated earlier. I can't remember what button I pressed for it. I'm assuming it's like a damage buff, maybe? I'm gonna give this... this note a, uh... appraisal. Because I do appreciate that. Root Resin. Everything I pick up right now is, has, is of utmost importance right now. I can't wait till I can get some armor so you guys can stop making fun of my butt cheeks. Zombie Nation got cancelled. I don't know what those things are, Raven. Uh, there's a lot of wacky monsters in Souls games. A lot of weird looking creatures. Locked by some contraptions. We must have to go around. Okay, we got f two or three of them up top here. Shit. 
shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. These guys do the bleed effect. I almost died right there. I'm doing real bad right now, but we're still alive, so. These guys still get the bleed effect, even when I block with the shield, it appears. I think there's a guy still up top, and we have no health potions anymore. I really gotta learn how to do that Barbarian Rage. I did it in the beginning. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me just activate it real fast. Oh, wrong button. Hold on. See if it gives us an HP increase. Okay, I think it's only a damage increase. But basically, I have to have nothing in my offhand to get that to activate. Ladies and gentlemen, D. Hargrove has entered the chat. I was just on the phone with him not too long ago. Great conversation. How are you, Doug? Night, David. Appreciate you stopping him. It doesn't count as a death, Clavis. Are you kidding me right now? Alright, is there still a guy up here? Um, okay, looks like we gotta go straight. Smithing stone. Perfect. I needed one of those. I'm almost dead. So honestly, I should really, I really, really should run back. Hold on, wait. Can you fast travel? Hold on. Can I do this? No, no, you can't fast travel when you're in a dungeon. Okay, alright. Well, I guess we're going further in. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is gonna be stupid. This is gonna be real stupid. There's, I should not be fighting on... Magic resist. Oh, oh! <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. That scared the shit out of me. Go forward, never straight. <laughs> Thanks, Benny. Appreciate you. Yeah, see you, David. All right. Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace. You will drop any runes in your possession. Okay, that's pretty classic Dark Souls. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they'll be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. All right. Um. Oh, silly me. I forgot that there was a, a site of grace in the beginning of this dungeon. Damn it, I could have came back, but we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I'll make it back. Screw you. Get your ass over. Ow! Alright, uh, one death. One death so far. Thanks again, Big Al. I appreciate you. One death, right? God, why am I playing as the naked man? This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Okay, I guess we're getting a little wake-up call here. All right. All right. I'm getting worse at the game the more that I play. All right. Thanks, Flint. All right, so one death. Not bad. My first death. All right, let's go. Got nothing to lose now. All my, all my runes are gone, so... Let's just kick some ass. Get your ass over here. Dude! How do they do that? That is ridiculous! Alright, let's learn these guys once and for all right now. Ah, damn, man. See ya. Game's not hard. Not hard at all. Come here, get your ass over here. Throw one more. Let's go. Oh, nice. I stunned him. Okay, I got this. I got this. All right, the problem is I only have two flasks now, so we're going to start over. We're going to start over. I feel better now. I feel better. Oh, do I actually have to pass time to get my flasks back? Nope, you don't. Okay. All right. Here we go. Watch this. Nobody's going to even touch me. 
Nobody's gonna even touch me right now. Get your ass up here. Come here. See ya. Ow. Dude, they do so much damage when you don't have armor on. It's crazy. All right. All right, now we're looking good. Much better start. Man, look at the animations. Absolutely beautiful. Mortal. I don't need any Lamaus in the chat, okay? Patience, Grasshopper. Patience is very true in these games. Very, very true. When you get pissed off and you start moving faster and swinging more, you just keep dying and dying and dying and dying. A little bit of an FPS drop there. Let's see if I can pull some of these guys up here. Oh, shit, wrong button. See, I started, I started hacking and slashing there. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's got to learn the animations. There we go. Looking damn good. Let's go. Okay, where's this other jabroni? Get your ass over here. There he is. Oh, look, I can... Oh, I should have sneaked. I should have tried sneaking right there. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to freaking die. Damn it. Oh, this guy's a stick tricky bastard. You kidding me? Dude, these guys <laughs> These little ads are pretty good, man. Okay, they like to drop back too. All right, we're just getting warmed up. We're just getting warmed up. I'm good with it. All right, back to where we died before with the fire. And the, is there a guy in this room too? I can't remember. I think there was, right? Wasn't there? I swear to God, I died from a... There he is. There he is. Kind of learning my stamina levels now too. Where'd he go? Is he coming? Oh, okay. There he is. I think that was him right there. Okay, I'm not too sure about this. I think we can do it, though. Woo, baby! <laughs> this is a fantastic game, guys. This is a fantastic game so far. What if I can get close to this? Looks like there is a guy. Yeah, I can get behind it. So let's run up there. on my planet today. It came out on PC at 6 p.m. Eastern. Cameron Bowler, thank you so much for the channel membership. I greatly appreciate that. Welcome to the pack, man. Thanks a lot. DM Wyvern. We are graced with Wyvern's presence right now. Prattling Pate, hello. That must be a gesture? Or what the hell is that? Let's check that out. Thanks, Cameron. Uh, I have no idea what that was, actually, to be honest with you. And I don't know where gestures are in this game. back where it came from. That's probably smart, Carly. Alright, two deaths. Rough start. Rough start to Elden Ring. Just the way I like it. Just the way I like it. Alright, I'm honestly just going to kill these guys again because it's really good practice. Oh, jeez. Oh my god! What the fuck? 
All right, I, I do not, I do not reckon, I do not recommend this class to any of you guys that are playing Elden Ring and you haven't played a Souls game before, okay? Because <laughs> I've played all of them. I'm getting my ass kicked, man. Oh shit! <gasps> There's no souls to even get. God. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, I got this, I got this, I got this, baby. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. Alright, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Okay, let's go. This is the first dungeon, too. <laughs> I'm really going in. Is the prophet still OP? I have no idea, man. This is, uh... I have no idea. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. Gotta fight these guys up here. Come on, get your ass up here. Let's go. You coming? Oh yeah, he's coming. Oh jeez. These are just little mobs too. I wonder if you can parry. I think you can. Uh, maybe now is the time to try parrying. Because I'd like to learn. It's probably better not to try on a boss, but... Pretty sure I heard people say you can parry, so you just have to block at the right time. Oh, actually, it's probably L2 with the shield bash. I didn't realize I had that. Maybe we'll try that. Let's do our sneak. All right, Clavis, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. 5.25. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get a sneak attack on this guy. Nice. Oh, okay, I was about to say it didn't look like it did too much damage there. Okay, we're getting better. We're getting better. I will conquer this dungeon with my flat butt cheeks. I will conquer it. Whoo, baby! Oh my god, it's so freaking scary. Oh! Um... Okay, I guess that just disabled the trap. I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking it's like a mini elevator, but it just disabled the trap, so we're good now. Be real careful here. Gotta be real careful. Try to push this as far as I can without getting hit. Oh, I think I'm gonna die right here. I think I'm gonna die. I'm real nervous. When you need... Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I went into crouch mode right there. What's up, Elisar? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I, I... Oh my god. Okay. Alright. They don't see me. So let's just crouch down. See, the good thing about flat butt cheeks is you're more silent when you move. You have a bubble butt. You're bouncing around everywhere, man. See that? Look at the cheeks in action. Unbelievable. Um, I feel like I gotta fight these guys now. Just not really quite sure where and how to do it, because there's a lot of them. Let's make sure that I have my health potion selected. I do, okay. And I might go into a barbaric rage, actually. You guys ready for that? Let's go. Gotta get these controls down. Let me aggro one first. You know what would be good right now is one of those throwing stones that I don't have. Oh, I do have one, so if I use one of these... I can maybe pull one to come at me, possibly. Let's try it. Try pulling this guy. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Flat cheeks equals more sneaky, exactly. We got a troll in chat? Electric says, I drink 15 strong beers a night. A sip every death for a video game is not a lot. <laughs> 
Amy's brother kept skipping lungs and burpees at the gym or lunges and burpees at the gym tonight. Don't remind me of the gym. I haven't been in so long. All right, um, we're just going to aggro these guys, I guess. I don't know if these ones on the ground are alive. Okay, screw it. I'm, I'm jumping at one. I'm jumping. Okay. Oh, shit. Health potion, health potion. Whoo, baby. See ya. Not risking nothing. Not sure why these guys aren't jumping down, but it's really, really uh, making me feel uh, not too comfortable right now. There we go. Oh, shit, that hurt. Oh, <laughs> it looks like Kermit the Frog. That's bad. Okay, that's real bad. All right, half health, not good. Oh, shit, the trap's back. Interesting, I didn't know you could activate that again. That's pretty cool. That'd be fun in PvP. All right, if I get this, is this guy gonna jump up? Oh, wow, 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 wow. All right, um, we got a problem. Got a little bit of a problem. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit. Major problem, major problem. Oh, wrong button. Oh, oh my god. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I think I'm gonna die from bleeding effects right now. Oh, man. All right. The good thing is we can skip some of these enemies when I come back. I might die right now. I might die. The good thing is we can skip some of these guys after we've fully explored the room. I think I can take these guys, though. Let's go. Where are they at? Might be able to catch them on the sneak here. Should I rest right now? I have all these enemies killed right now. I feel like I shouldn't rest. All right, I'm going to, just for the sake of, uh... We need health flasks. We gotta play this smart. Where are you hiding all these health potions? Your cheeks aren't nearly thick enough. <laughs> you guys are funny. All right. Oh, I guess we're gonna be moving pretty slowly tonight, guys. Pretty slowly. I'm very intimidated right now by Elden Ring. I can tell you what, even though the game, I believe, overall is gonna be more accessible, as someone who's played the other Souls games, it seems like it's got some good difficulty to it, so. There's no way you can't hack and slash. I, I can already tell in this game. Hack and slash is just not going to happen. Does being naked make bleed worse? <laughs> Probably makes everything worse in this game. Okay, let's go. I'm going to skip this room. We're going to go directly this way. And down here, and I can probably skip this room too, actually. So let's just run in. Once we've already killed everything, I'm fine with skipping things. Oh, nice. The trap actually stays down. What we could do. If these guys are following me, I might activate it. Doesn't look like they're following me. You can skip a lot of things in Souls games, but I always just feel like I have to fight everything. Once I've killed everything at least once, then I'm okay with skipping things. All right, let's see if we can take these. Oh, look at this guy. He's using a bow. I have, see, I don't have any of that good stuff. Are you kidding me? All right. Oh, shit. Yep, they're all back. So let's start with this guy. God. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. All right, all right. Let's go. I gotta go to the bathroom, and we're coming back. And I'm not, I'm not messing around with nothing anymore. I'm not messing around with nothing. No more deaths when I come back. Be right back.
Mexico, baby. All right. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Give Wolf your positive vibes, Tilda Tilda. <laughs> Thank you, O oh Elden Ring. All right, guys, let's quickly stop at the tavern. I really do appreciate you guys uh, hanging out on the stream tonight. I didn't expect to have uh, over 500 people for a game that's already been streamed by so many people. So thank you guys so much. Um, like I said, I will be streaming this throughout the weekend and into the next couple weeks probably. So if you guys need a place to hang out on Elden Ring, you know that I'm here. Um, thank you guys so much for the donos too. I have my phone next to me so I can see who that was right there. Ben, Aaron, and Shy. Thank you guys so much for the uh, custom link donations. And let's get back at it. Whew. <sighs> oh shit, is the webcam in the wrong spot? Oh damn, we're at that tavern. Oh shit, it's supposed to be at that tavern, okay. <laughs> Cosmic says I'm done with tasks now and I have tea and fruit dessert, very nice. You know what's weird is you guys can hear the Elden Ring music right now, it's real trippy. All right, back at it. Thank you guys, seriously. Okay, I'm not playing around anymore. Um, you guys are watching a professional Souls player right now. Just want you to know ahead of time, all right? And if I die, it's because I'm not trying. Okay, so get good or get the hell out of here. Oh, let me uh, let me quickly go into performance mode for my stream because this game is taking up some PC resources. And here we go. Might want to stop at the glute machine. <laughs> what's up, citizen? Citizen, I think I saw you. In, you ever watch uh, shit? What's his name? He's a big YouTuber. Raptor or something? Raptor? I forget the official name of his channel. I think I saw you in one of his live chats. I was watching him play something. Oh, shit. Watch this. You guys ready? I would have I would have gotten it, but sometimes you just don't try, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. This is gonna be a long Elden Ring playthrough. Oh my god. Oh god, guys. I thought I honestly thought with the wretch class that I was gonna find items like all over the beginning. We haven't found one damn thing yet. I haven't found one thing. I had to buy this shield. I am still buck naked, running around with flat butt cheeks in a freaking souls game. Are you kidding me? Oh shite. Six deaths, it's honestly not that bad. I remember the first Souls game I played was Bloodborne. And I must have died like 50 times to the first mob in Bloodborne. That's no joke. Shit! The hell off me. These guys are scary. When I get hit, I actually get scared. That, that's the pathetic thing. I actually jump. All right, get your ass over here. I want... Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> they're good, but they're not too smart. This game sucks. This game sucks. That one doesn't... That death doesn't count. That death doesn't count. Put it on replay. I was definitely behind the pillar. That doesn't count. Don't count it or two-minute temporary ban. Carly says we like our buns toasted, not burnt. All right, that one didn't count. And if somebody counts it, two minute temporary ban. Uh, Braz, you're the mod. Feel free to uh, use the ban hammer. <laughs> Shit, guys, I'm starting to I'm starting to question whether or not I should have done this. This this is just nuts. I mean, if I had armor, I could at least take a couple hits. But this is just uh, this is just oh fuck, wrong button. Oh shit. <laughs> I just I just wasted a health flask. You gotta be shitting me. Honestly, I might leave that one going for backup if I need it. All right, let's go. Hey, Matt, thank you so much for your uh, your channel membership, by the way. Oh, shit, I ran too late. Not a good time to look at chat. <laughs> I pushed that one real close. All right, so I still have to clear this room. 
because I haven't done it yet, and I refuse. I feel like I could use the fire to my advantage here. We got this. We got this. Let's go, baby. It's got to aggro one. That's it. So let's go over here and let's... And then back up, back up, back up one at a time. Let's go. All right, I got this. I got this. Shit. Thought I was locked on. I thought I was locked on. Oh, my God. These guys should not be hard. Just got to learn their animations. Let's keep the shield up. Keep the shield up. They're just little guys. They're nothing. Uh-oh. They're nothing. Nothing. You got to take every enemy. You got to take every enemy seriously in the Souls game, though. You cannot let your... Uh, you cannot relax with anything. Okay, I got this. I got this. If I could fight one at a time, that would be great. Shit. I'm going to let him get up. I'm going to let him get up. All I want is that item. Okay, we got this. The game's not that hard. Overall, it's just not hard. All right. Um, you coming down at me, buddy? I don't know. What the fuck, are you? You coming down or what? What are you doing? There we go. I got this. We we cleared it. We cleared it. Oh shit! There's two. That's not good. Jeez! Oh my freaking god. Oh great, now I'm hacking and slashing. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go, baby. It's nothing. Smoldering all of that for a smoldering butter blutter bl blutterfly? Flutterfly? All of that for whatever the hell that was. It's a crafty material. All right, I feel good though. Now we can skip this room. Definitely never, never coming back to this room. I can tell you that much. Not until I have my full paladin armor. Okay, let's go. Uh, up the ladder we go. I only have zero health flasks, so that's great. All right. That, that's great. And let's go up. Clean? <laughs> Something like that, too. Yeah, the jump hit animation is pretty good. And I think the jump... Power hit is really powerful. Just not good at it yet. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, look, we're on the... Oh, oh my god. Okay. Glove works. We're on the upper level. We came in right there earlier, so that's pretty nice. It looks like we might have an edge where we can get some stuff. And I'm definitely going to jump down onto it before we push on further in the dungeon. You know the cool... Oh, shit. Oh, you know the coolest thing about being in, in a dungeon in this game is knowing that you're in the open world, basically. You're just in a little dungeon, and outside of this dungeon is that gigantic world that we still have yet to explore with probably hundreds of other dungeons. Super exciting. Let me break these real fast. I should probably go back and get my health up since we're so close. Ooh. Oh, you know what that is, guys? Somewhere a heavy door has opened. I know exactly where that is. Uh oh. All right, we got to jump down, though, and face this other guy. I think that door that we came across earlier is now open. Uh, wish me luck. Hack and slash. Stop it. Stop it, wolf. What the hell? Where are these guys coming from? This is ridiculous. All right, I'm going to back up. I think that, yep, that door opened right there. So let's go back up here. There's no reason why, uh, why, oh my god. All right, we're going to take a little rest. wonder how many souls I have right now. This is stressful, but I am having such a great time right now. I mean, it's it's very challenging, which is exactly what I was hoping. I was hoping that it wasn't going to be like 
super easy and that they didn't mainstream it too much or streamline the game. You have to meet someone and give them the souls you've collected at a bonfire. Yes, I've met... I have interacted with a merchant. I have. Or are you talking about somebody else? Alright, so that looks like a boss fight. Yeah. Alright, so before we do that, let me just make sure I've explored the top part of this dungeon that we missed before. I'm going to run past most of the enemies. What's interesting is sprinting doesn't take your stamina in this game, so... Or does it? Yes, it does, actually. I take it back. Okay, let's go back up top here. The only thing pants are good for are pockets. <laughs> oh, do I have to level up right now? Oh, shit. I didn't realize that I was, uh, I haven't even thought about leveling yet. Uh, I guess I have to, I can't do that. Oh, shit. I can't do that at any bonfire, though. I have to do it at, God. Why, why did I, why did I let myself get distracted right there? I would imagine I have to level up with a person. Like in the other Souls game, you can't just level up at any bonfire. So that's why I'm not leveling up. You're gonna be kidding me. Let me let me check this. Yeah, so I think I have to go back and talk to the person. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if I've met the person to level up with yet, to be honest with you. And I've kind of got sidetracked, and I probably shouldn't be doing this dungeon right now. But uh, that's the fun of an open world game. You can do whatever the hell you want, so. Real men wear kilts. I should probably just disable this trap. I'm gonna disable it in case we gotta come back. Oh, we just killed an enemy too. Can't wait to get back out in the open world. What a dungeon though, it's pretty fun. All right, let's collect my souls. Demon souls, you have to teleport to some area. Yeah, I would imagine it's the same way in this game. You probably have to talk to a an NPC. Oh, I love the souls. Uh... Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Let's go, baby. Nothing. You're nothing. Okay, you're something. You're not a lot. Doing okay. Okay, the furthest we've been in this dungeon. These things are so cool. Oh, they should have friendly fire. I said be wary of the right. Anything else in this room? Okay, all right. Good. I feel like something's gonna drop down on me. Let me read this note first. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Aha! Summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Okay, so spirits are supposed to be a really powerful aspect of this game. So let's try it out, maybe. Okay, next fight that we get into, guys, I'm going to summon some spirits. Do I not have enough mana? Hold on. Oh, I just don't... I don't think I have enough mana in general to you, Or maybe you have to be in combat. 
probably have to upgrade my FP bar a little bit. Maybe, I don't know. You have to use menu first option. Five wandering noble spirits. I think it's uh, that's the end of this dungeon. So now we have to go to the boss. You need a bell. Okay, and then you can for summoning spirits. You need a bell, really. All right, let's go. You usually start all your streams at the same time. I always miss the first two hours. So on Tuesday, Thursdays, green, I usually start at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then Monday and Friday, I usually start at 12 p.m. Eastern. And then every other day is random, so. Okay, let's go fight this boss. Um, I should probably rest. Okay, let's get four Estus flasks for this fight, and let's see if we can get him on the first try. Okay, boss time. High school never ends. <laughs> Damn it, it's one of these freaking things. You gotta be kidding me. Rough start, rough start. The hell is this thing? I freaking saw that coming, man. Webcams is trying. Oh, we got webcams in chat. <laughs> Welcome back, webcams. Guys, don't click on that link. Well, it's not a link, but. All right, let's go. It's a chimera. How's the magic in this game? Haven't uh, haven't been able to try it yet. I'm playing the naked class, so I didn't even start out with any magic. Starting to regress this. Oh yeah, I keep I keep forgetting about uh, shield bash. Thanks, Nugget. Keep forgetting about it. Oh jeez, this is a really cool boss though. Dude, that's such a fast swing right there. One shot. One shot. Not worried about it. Alright, sounds good, Zyphio. It's ugly. What's up, Martin? We can get this thing within a couple tries. I know it. I know it doesn't seem like that hard of a boss. We just got to execute. The problem is I'm so vulnerable that I can't withstand uh, too many hits. Looks like giant puppet. Yeah, it does.
Dude, that is... God, the animation is so cool. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's a new animation. Get out of here. This guy's cheating. This guy didn't install the anti-cheat software, did he? I do not like that one. I've had a bow right now. Wrong button. Oh, shit. Oh, I wasted my last health potion. Oh, get out of here. I have no more health potions. Shit. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Wow. This guy's pulling animations right out of his flat butt cheeks, left and right. This is this is crazy. All those animations just came out at the end right there that we haven't seen the entire fight. What's the death count? Oh, wrong way. Yeah, this is an open world game, so you really can do anything you want at any time. So, like, if I was struggling too much with this boss, I could just leave and then come back when I have armor or I'm more powerful. But I think I want to kill him right now. I think we can do it. Yeah, I know, right, Braz? That came out of nowhere. I thought I was learning his animations. All right, get your ass over here. Let's go. Dude, if you don't roll at the right time, you're absolutely screwed. What the hell? Dude, dodge that. Does that hit me? God, man. I'm gonna do. I'm dead. Uh oh, I saw it coming. Saw it coming. All right, let's go. Let's get him halfway at least on this one. I'm not worried about it. Next time, I got it. Guaranteed. No doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. Oh, man. I like it. This is actually a great start to, uh, to Elden Ring, if you ask me. I wouldn't want it any other way. How many animations does this boss have? Yeah, you know, I figured an early on boss like this would only have like three animations, but he's just pulling them out left and right. Where's my souls? Got a thousand souls. I mean, that's significant for me right now. Let's go, baby. There we go. I'm learning the controls a lot better now. Wrong way. Uh oh. Tried to stab my butt cheeks. This one scares me so much. It's so fast. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh baby. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I 
I gotta make sure that I don't roll the wrong freaking way, man. Let's go. Get your ass over here, Mr. Cat. Ow. I can't get I can't get ahead of myself. I can't get I, this is this is when it gets really intense when, when you have them like down to one shot or a couple shots and oh god Just just play just play the game like normal one two hit Back up back up back up. I got this He's only one shot. Don't think about it. don't think about it. Wolf. Don't think about it. Let's go, baby What a fun boss You guys probably can't even hear me when I talk about that noble sorcerer ashes Okay, so we're getting all these summons right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a Let's Go Baby $2 donation. Thank you so much to whoever that was. The victory is yours. It feels Let's freaking go, great. Baby. It feels great. <sighs> I honestly don't know who that was. I'm going to have to check those after. Once there's been multiple donations with the custom link, then I can't not. It, it's hard to tell because it shows all the previous ones with it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Skull. I am the boss from now, from now on. I don't know if I would get uh, get that far ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it, man. You can farm XP and over level. Yes, you can. That's the thing that I haven't been doing, but I'm okay with it. That was a really cool... Uh, that was a cool fight, and he wasn't too powerful. All right, we have a return to entrance. Let me just check the rest of this room. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Too many messages around and I think we can push on and we're gonna head back to the open world for those of you guys that came in late and haven't seen the open world just making sure there's no hidden hidden items anywhere or hidden doors that we can't see this kind of reminds me of Skyrim a little bit when you're down in the tombs all right let's go uh, return back to the entrance of the dungeon I, I think 99 is the max bras, but there's diminishing returns when you get past 40 for some of the stats and then 60, I believe, for some other stats. Um, there's always diminishing returns in Souls games, so I think uh, I think people said 40 or 60 in this game, you start getting diminishing returns, so. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I know the title of the stream is... Uh, is Paladin, and I probably will do that, but since I'm playing the Wretch, that might change my outlook on on my build, because we're kind of taking what we can get. If I can find any armor right now, I'm putting it on. The first weapon that I find, I'm putting it on. And I might actually become attached to a weapon. Like, if I pick up, like, some really cool daggers, who knows? Maybe I'll end up doing, like, an assassin build or something. Alright, um, let's... What's past time? We'll do morning. I don't want to leave this... Oh my god, I just noticed that in the bottom right. Morning time is always so beautiful. All right, welcome to the open world, guys. We have completed our first dungeon. I know, all right? I wish I could have gotten some pants out of that or something. Looks like we have uh, changing weather, which is pretty sweet. It definitely plays like Dark Souls 3, for sure. So if any of you guys have played Dark Souls 3, you're going to be at an advantage compared to... Uh, Maybe these are like slaves. Let's kill this guy. He seems like he's the boss. Ow. Are they slaves? Okay, I'm gonna let them live this time. Let's go back to our central hub. Yeah, we still haven't found the, the NPC to level up with yet. 
All right, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm going to kill an eagle, okay? I really don't want to do this, but I have to see what they drop for crafting. Oh, what is that? Oh, nice. We got some runes out of that. I'm going to kill an eagle, okay? I apologize ahead of time, but I have to see... VA Wolf says, I play Dark Souls 3. Nice. You'll uh, you'll have a head start over people that haven't played Souls games before. It definitely feels Dark Souls-y. Dark Souls 3-ish. Cool, Proctal. Um, I definitely will do some co-op at some point, um, but especially my first couple sessions, I'm going to play single player um, so I can really take in everything. And I don't know if I'm actually going to bring people into co-op in my world because I just like beating the Souls games by myself. Um, after I beat Bloodborne, um, I did it a little bit co-op, and it was like 40 million times easier than playing single player. So I kind of realized that I think I want to beat the games by myself, at least. And then after that, not really care, but I probably will join some summons and help you guys out in your worlds. But not tonight. Not tonight. That's too much uh, stimulation for me right now. Oh, look at this. sure about this but definitely one night man that sounds fun uh oh i haven't seen this yet because i know a lot of you guys uh on this channel are playing right now so i think it'd be cool to do some do some fun stuff and i'd love to come into your worlds and help you guys slay your bosses if you guys don't care about uh beating them by yourself <laughs> the co-op was so much easier in bloodborne when i called in a friend it was just so much easier that I was like, I don't know if I want to play these games on my first playthrough with somebody always helping me. It's just a pride thing. Nick says, I'm thinking about getting this game. Is it good so far? It's it's really good so far, man. I'm having a great time. Uh, there is FPS drops on PC, but they don't happen that much, so it's still playable. But if you're playing on PC, if you really care about having always a smooth experience, you might want to wait a couple days until they put out a patch. It's a turtle. Aww. That's really cool, man. There's gonna be a... I didn't expect them to put so much wildlife into this game. You're not really used to that in the other Souls games. Dog. I feel like I want to kill it for crafting supplies now. <laughs> I don't want to kill it, but it just... How do I know until I try? We'll let him live. Let me come in the water. <laughs> Amy's. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if these things are friendly. They don't look friendly. Nope, they're not friendly. Uh-oh. Is it gonna blow up? <laughs> what is this thing? I'm going to back up from that. What in the nine hells is that? All right, we got some runes from it. Oh my god. Look at the particle effects. Stunning. Oh shit. Oh my god. How many of you got... How many of you guys would freak the hell out if you saw one of these things IRL? I just looked at its pincers. I would be freaking out, man. Let's go. Let's throw it down. Get your ass over here. Oh shit, I missed. Dude! Where's a bow when you need- <laughs> Where's a bow when you need a bow? Making me dizzy. Shit, I'm a horrible shot. Dude, I just want to kill this thing. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, all right. I guess it's protecting this thing. I don't know. What is this thing doing? Pissing me off. Okay, we're okay. Looks like a swamp tick. 
Does this game look bleak and grayed out? I think that's just the style. Um, it's just a style that they're going for. It does look a little dull, but I think it... I, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. I, th I think it's quite beautiful, and I think we're probably going to go to some areas where it brightens up a little bit, unless my settings are off, where it brightens up a little bit, and it's also cloudy right now, too. I, I would imagine that the clouds change. All right, let's go. I need to find a map fragment. Now, I'm not sure if this is a friendly. Seek hole and then offer seed. <laughs> I don't think this guy is friendly. What do you guys think? Well, there's only one way to find out. I'm not going to just... I'm not going to kill him. Okay, he's not friendly. Could have killed him, but I had to give him the benefit of the doubt. I trust until the trust is broken. Wrong button. All right, we have a bolt for a crossbow. We're so oh my god, we're coming across another dungeon. This is crazy. I should probably go back and see if I can level up, though. What do you guys think? Let there be whole. <laughs> we got some, uh, we got some wise guys that are leaving comments in this game, don't we? Yeah, look, the color's kind of changing now that it's raining a little bit. Hey, what's up, Mustafa? Thanks again for your, uh... Your Baldur's Gate giveaway. That hurt. If you can stagger with the light attack, there's no reason not to. Alright, let's go in let's go inside that hole. I'm getting very sidetracked right now and I should probably be searching for my horse. Is that a boar right there? Very cool, man. Very cool. Oh, man. Oh, those are multiplayer sites. Okay. All right. All right, let's go inside that cave. Look at these things. They're like miniature deer. I need crafting supplies. You get so you guys can't judge me if I kill one of those things. I don't want to, but does the weather affect the gameplay? I don't think so, Shy. I would think no, but I really haven't tested it enough to uh, to give a definitive answer on that. I would guess no, though. An Elden Ring giveaway. Okay, this is our fourth grace. I'm very surprised that I haven't found armor yet. Very surprised. Don't hurt the hollow. couple walls down here best to avoid spoilers i would advise everybody to avoid spoilers for this game the open world aspect to this game is incredible and it's going to be so much better if you just discover things on your own but i have to level up like real soon this is uh this is starting to get ridiculous all right well the wolves are not friendly i can tell you guys that much um this is an enemy wolf pack so we're going to take them out or they're going to take me out. Who needs armor? Just don't get hit. <laughs> Easier said than done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Nope, they're not friendly. Oh my god. Dude!
Oh, that's the alpha wolf. Damn, look at the graphics down here. Oh, shit. All right, we killed the alpha. These wolves have weird jumping animations. I'm about to die, though. Shit. Oh, we didn't kill the alpha. Shh. Oh, I am one shot. I am absolutely one shot right now. The real daddy wolf is not me. Story first. Hey. Hey, I'll play this game in whatever way I want. Alright, we gotta get our souls first. Did the alpha respawn? I'm not sure. Nope, it didn't. So I'm gonna jump down. I wonder if I could pull, like, a couple of these. This isn't a good idea. I'm doing it, though. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Got the alpha's back. Oh my god, dude, these things are freaking tough! What is this right here? Give it to me, give it to me. No, 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 I want that. I want that item. I want that item. This is, uh, yeah, I might have to leave this cave, honestly. This is, uh, this is really tough. I mean, this is really tough. Holy shnike. That's not good. Oh, we're going deeper and darker. And we got a boss fight. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, oh, gosh. Is that cannibalism? Yeah, I'm not worried about doing this game in a specific order. I'm also playing on naked, and I would imagine that most people watching aren't playing on naked. So, uh, I do things differently than the average gamer. And I've never had a problem in the past with any open world game. Uh, with having a good time and beating the game, so. Um, I gotta get these back. I'm probably gonna sneak over here. I might actually leave this dungeon, because that's pretty tough. Um, that's pretty tough with all those. Whoa, shit! Or I could pull them individually. I need something to pull, though. I don't even have, like, uh... Oh, I did, did pick up some darts. Uh, let me see if I can do those real fast. Oh, no, we picked up bolts, not darts. Oh, I do have, uh, Ruin Fragments, though. Let's see if I can pull one of these guys. Did you know that wolf packs actually use age for hierarchy, and there is an alpha couple? The biologist who invented alpha male for wolves tried hard to make his mistake known, but no one listened. <laughs> nice, bro. Nice fun fact. Alright, let's see if we can pull one, one here. RS, thank you so much for the 499. I think you can repost by attacking after blocking a hit. You are correct. I think it's, I think it's this, this button, the L2, and I haven't done it yet. You are right, RS. Just like in Dark Souls 3. I don't know if I can do it on every enemy. I'm not sure. Maybe I can pull one wolf and we'll try. How did that miss? <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Alright, maybe I'll try repot- uh oh, oh no. Alpha's coming. Alpha couple. Nope, it's only one. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, let's try a repost. Oh my god, I don't know the animations. I can't. I can't repost right now. I can't repost. I can't repost. There's no way. I have to know my uh, my foe's animations before I try that. We'll try it on a humanoid. Thanks, RS, for the 4.99 and the er dono earlier and Elden Ring. I appreciate you, man. This is a great time. I'm having a great time right now. How many souls do I have? I ha currently have 2,800, so I do have to turn them in soon. It's not a lot, but it's not a little for who I'm at. Oh, shit. Dude, this is so cool. Oh, shit.
I'm, get, I'm hacking and slashing. It's so stupid. Stop hacking and slashing. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know these guys' animations to try to repost. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, this is going better than I thought. All right. Oh my god, look at the look at the wolf right there. It's so freaking cool, man. It is so cool. I bet you I could do I don't know if there's a way back up though. I bet you I could do a sneak attack. Oh, this is such an epic scene. If you remember your third weapon, since you don't have pants, it's been hanging there waiting to club enemies. <sighs> Thanks, RS. Appreciate the thumbs up on the stream, guys. If you're looking for a Dark Souls Pro, you're in the wrong spot, but if you're looking for a great time, you're in the right spot. If you don't kill that alpha, you're the beta. <laughs> I've already killed the alpha one time. Uh-oh, it's sniffing me. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get it to come over here. Hold on. I have one rock left. Yeah, I don't know if I can... Oh, I... Hold on, I can get back up top. Let's go up here. Silly me, I came this way. Let's see if I can get this one wolf. Oh! Oh shit, the alpha's coming too. Maybe? Yep, the alpha's coming. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, there's three of them? God, these guys are freaking fast, man. I got the alpha alone. This this is just so cool. Are you guys seeing this? This, this is going to be game of the year for sure. No doubt in my mind. There's no game in 2022 that's going to beat this. I hope one does, because it'd be good for everybody, but... Dude, these guys have some crazy, uh... You have to really get the the right timing. Come on, get your ass over here. You ever fight a naked man, Wolf? Didn't think so. Get the hell out of my game. Oh, he's still alive! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, looks like we're doing this. Okay. Alright, there's two out, two more wolves to kill. Is there two or one? True barbarian style. Let's go, baby. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I'm gonna try a heavy attack on these guys. Where the hell did that combo come from? Where the hell did that combo come from? Was it... I have no idea how I did that. Maybe uh, maybe it's in my barbarian rage. When I'm raged, I can do the heavy attack and it does a triple swing. That was really powerful. All right, um, let's go rest at the bonfire. Then I'm going to go into this boss cave. This looks incredibly difficult. I think it is. It does feel it does feel like a Souls game. I will say that much. So. But if you co-op it and you use like crazy powerful spells, it'll probably be a lot easier. Um, keep in mind that I'm playing naked right now, so I'm no, I have no idea. Like if I played a warrior or a hero or a vagabond, um, how many hits I'd be able to take with armor, or how many hits it would take to kill a wolf with an actual sword and not a club. That's just something we don't know right now, because I'm butt naked. Activates when rage is active. Okay, cool. I'm going right into the boss fight. And let's hope to God that I'm able to retrieve my runes. Oh shit. Beast man? Azula? Okay, this one doesn't this one does not look easy. Not at all.
Wow. Trying to learn the animations. Learn the animations. Okay, can't stagger. Can't stagger. Oh, wow. One, two. Right, let's go. A really cool boss. Azula. Oh, bad time to take motion. Bad time to take a motion. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, I, gotta, I have to learn how to parry here. Definitely have to learn how to parry. See if I can get one right now. Nope, I can't. I suck. There's no way I can get a parry. One, two. I mean, I got him halfway down. This isn't too bad. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Nice, Roasty. Nice one. Is a weapon I missed in that room, really? Hello, Lily. How's the New Zealand life treating you? There's a weapon next to the wolves? I don't know if uh, it's a good idea to go after that when my souls are at the boss right now, so I'm going to sneak around this way. Maybe on the way out we'll check for it. Okay, here we go again. Read your comment in a second, Rory. Damn, dude, he's just... This guy's got the moves. The one, two, three...
you know what? That rage that I'm starting to use now is making it a hell of a lot easier. Hell of a lot easier. And I have a ton of uh, FP to use rage. Oh, I didn't pick up my souls. Good thinking. The missing eight dropping the hello, welcome me. <laughs> oh shit, you guys are never going to let me live that down. We've embraced the buns. Rory says, if you're into Souls games, I can understand why it'd be game of the year. Contender for me so far, though, it's got to be Horizon Forbidden West. It has some of the most well-written characters. Yeah, I wish I had time to play that one, Rory. If I got it early, I would have definitely played it, but... Perhaps sometime in the future. I haven't played the first one yet, though. Can't believe I left my souls on the ground for that entire fight. It's a badass move, isn't it? <laughs> All right, before we return to entrance, let's just come over here. Yeah, Elden Ring is a game that could win game of the year, but it's probably a game that a lot of people won't play too, so. I think it'll probably win game of the year though from playing it so far. I don't know though. It all comes down to what's most popular because the Souls games are a bit niche at the same time because not everybody likes playing uh, challenging games like this and, and the Souls games don't have much in terms of a narrative story. There is a lot of lore and story behind them, but you kind of have to decipher it yourself. All right, let's go back. Um, make sure there's nothing hidden in here. I actually thought for this game, they might have opened up more of a narrative for the story and made it easier for the average player to understand the story but they didn't and i'm okay with it but i thought that they might do it for this one but they didn't so it's kind of one of the appeals of the souls games um it's kind of nice to play games where you don't get put in cutscenes every two seconds it's nice to have a, a variety of choices i guess you could say Ladies and gentlemen, Nimitz, a.k.a. Brian, has entered the chat with a 1999 donation. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate you. Yeah, someone mentioned there's a wep uh, weapon near the wolves. Um, I guess I'm going to go for it, all right? We're going to trust. Really don't want to kill all the wolves again, but I really need a weapon at the same time. We have a new alpha to the wolf pack. Yeah, I haven't found any armor yet. Um, I've done two dungeons, and I haven't come across a weapon or armor, so... I'm also probably doing dungeons when I should be going to the camp. How many souls do I have right now? I really want to make sure I don't lose these. I have 4,200 souls. I can probably buy an armor set. Um, let's see if I can pull. Is the, is the loot the same for everybody? Let's see if I can pull one wolf up here. Come here. Come here. Thank you, Brian. All right, there we go. All right, we got one. That's good. Come here, baby. I didn't expect to be playing the wretch class the entire night. <laughs> I'm still going to be naked in like five hours from now. Dude, these wolves are tough, man. Oh, shit. I don't have any flask. Oh, my God. I should have... What the hell am I doing? I didn't rest. Whoa. Where the hell am I? Roasty said, at some point, I'm going to have to suck it up, buy this game, and see how it goes. Never played a Souls game. If you don't like difficult games, but you still want to play this, I mean, you could spoil yourself and look up the OP builds. Um, you definitely don't want to start naked like I'm starting, and you could also consider summoning in players. So something that I'm not going to probably do too much on my own first run is summon in other players, but there's a lot of spots where you can call people in. Like right here, I could call in help, and somebody would spawn into the world and then help me kill these wolves, and it'd probably be so much easier. But I just don't want to do it yet. So there's ways to make it easier on yourself, and I'm sure there's going to be OP magic builds um, where you don't have to be as dodgy and skilled with your timing, um, and those will come out with time. All right, uh, I'm about to just jump down. These wolves are pissing me off. You guys ready? Get your ass up here. Come on. Come here. Watch this. He's dead. See, I know how to use my rage now. I'm not even scared of these wolves. I don't want to jump down, though, do I? Oh, 
Oh shit. Let's see which one's following me up top here. All of them? Oh shit. All of them followed me? <laughs> Go, baby. These guys are nothing. Holy shit, I did it. Um, there's still a couple wolves left, so I can't rest because we gotta go back and see if there's a weapon. You know what would be nice right now is a torch. Did I buy a torch? I did not. Okay. I don't think it is shy. I thought that I read somewhere, you have to double check, I thought that I read that it's cross-plat in terms of like PS4 to PS5, but I don't think it's like PC to console. Could be wrong though. Could be wrong. Fight club locations. Oh, no weapon? Okay, alright. Chris says no weapon. Alright, let's uh, rest and let's press on. I thought I searched it pretty good, but I was gonna check anyways. Cosmic, with the 12 plus months of channel membership, time to get ready for bed, have a great night. To the tavern, just for Cosmic. Happy Thursday, Cosmic. Skull. What are the OP builds? Not sure. Thomas Edwards says, man, I can't wait to play this. I have to wait until the PS version unlocks. Yeah, midnight, I feel for you, man. I feel for you. I thought about playing this on my PS5, but I'm happy I played on Steam. I can't stream that well for my PS5. I don't have, like, the right equipment for it. Um, uh-oh. Oh. There we go. Jumping over that wolf was epic. <laughs> At least something epic came out of that. I should really try the uh, the parry on these guys while while I have the chance. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try it. You guys ready? That's, the timing is so hard. Oh, it didn't work. I thought I did it right right there too. Let's see if I can get one parry. Maybe the shield doesn't parry because I remember in the other Souls games. Yeah. I that, I definitely got the timing right right there. I wonder, um, I wonder if there's only certain shields that have the parry mechanic. It's quite possible. All right, guys, let's uh, let's get to safety because I have so many souls right now. I should run back to that place that we were at before. Not sure when I can actually level up, but your ass over here. Ow. Oh, it does. It's my shield actually says parry on it. Huh. I could, I could have sworn I, I, I did the timing right. Maybe it's not the sh maybe it's not this and maybe it's just the block that you have to do like maybe it's this. It has to be this. That just makes sense. I think we can buy some armor guys for the first time. Flame Drake Talisman boosts fire damage negation. Okay, thank you for reminding me about that. Okay, fire negation.
Yes, I think it is the Dark Souls 3 parry system. I'm just surprised that I didn't get it on that fight because I, I feel like I definitely did it at the right time on a couple of those parries that I attempted. Oh, oh. guys, our first weapon. My first weapon in this game. You got to be kidding me. Oh, and it's a lot. Oh, what do you need to wield it, though? It's a D for strength and a D for dex. What's, where's the strength requirement? 10 strength. All right, our first weapon. It's going to make a big difference, I feel like. It does 115 plus 9, 45 physical, while the club is 41 and 103 plus 10. Okay. Oh, it feels good. Now we just got to get some pants. <laughs> I missed an item besides Santa. All right, well, I'm going back that way anyways, because I got to see if I can level up. I just, uh, I'm just taken back by the beauty of this world. All right, am I going to kill my first eagle? Guys, close your eyes for a second. Really don't want to do this, but I only kill one. Got to see what they drop. Oh, they dropped nothing. Okay, so it's just a slaughter of an innocent, beautiful animal. Great. Okay, let's go back to Santa. I believe Santa is back this way. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I know where we are. Isn't this where I was before when I fought these things? I think it was. Okay, that hurt a lot. I think I hear one behind me too, possibly. Oh yeah, the sword, the sword just feels right. It just feels right. Oh, here's the other two. Get down. Get the hell out of my game. What's this guy want? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I just whipped like a million. All right, there we go. We're getting better. See, all we need was a weapon. Now the game's on easy mode, all right? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic for those of you guys that don't know. Yeah, I murdered it for no reason, but you guys are going to forget about that, okay? Richard, thank you so much for the $1.99. Thoughts so far? Um, I'm really, really enjoying it, man. Uh, the whole open world style for a Souls game is just... I still, like, kind of don't believe that I'm playing this right now. I think this is going to be a really, really good game. Uh, minus the, the FPS drops here and there, uh, I feel like this is going to be... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Better keep moving. Very good thoughts so far. Fade Dragon Tear says, new speedrun category idea, pants percentage. <laughs> Alright, let me rest here. You know, I just feel like this class is a great starting class, because I know that if I chose, like, the Bandit, or the Hero, or the Prophet, or the Confessor, that it would've, I would have felt like I'm locked into that type of build. I don't necessarily want to do that build. Like, the Confessor gives you a high faith, but if I end up doing something without faith, then you kind of have those wasted points in faith from the get-go. Um, I feel like doing this, at least, even though you're a lot weaker, at least you kind of build from the ground up. Um, I don't see an item. Oh, this is an item. Oh, oh, okay. I thought it was just telling me about the smithing stone. All right, let's talk to Santa real fast. I'm surprised I didn't get a horse yet. We're going to have to push on with uh, the main quest that we're on, and we're going to go that way. It looks like it's going towards the main tree, but let me talk to Santa real fast, see if we can get some armor. Weren't you? Well, you're back. Eagles drop feathers. Okay. To buy something? Baldur's Gate is next year. Yes, Baldur's Gate's probably uh, at least a year away from now, according to Sven. All right, this guy sells. I kind of want to buy some cookbooks and stuff too, but I think armor is of prime importance right now. So I'm going to buy, what do we have? Everything's chain? That might be a bit heavy for my character. I'm not sure what weight is, endurance maybe. All right, let's buy that. Buy that. Buy that. And buy that. Goodbye. And you guys can say goodbye nice to my to bubbly business. butt cheeks because you're never going to see them again. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that is a real chain mail suit right there. Oh, I have medium dodge. It's not too bad. It's not as good as I was before. Um, let's see what the stats are on this thing. I mean, that's a huge physical boost overall compared... Physical defense boost that I didn't have before. That's pretty significant. 11.9 with just the uh, chain armor itself. Okay, now now we're uh, now we're looking good. Look how good that armor looks, though. You guys imagine suiting up with that? I feel like I would just lay down if someone put that armor on me and go to sleep. <laughs> what is it? Still going to purchase something? Jedi says I can't wait to play this game. I can't wait for you to play this game. All right, so apparently I can't level up right here. Let's talk to him one more time. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. Okay. If the mood takes you when you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? Yes, I will, Santa. My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now. Though the Elden Ring is shattered, I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the Tarnished, and mine. Cool, man. Some great lore. Some great lore. All right. Uh, maybe I'll stop at the crafting table real fast. Let me see if I take off my helm if I get my quick roll back. Oh, this looks so badass. Nope, not yet. Guys, how badass does this guy look? Uh, let me get rid of my gloves. Nope. Okay, what about if I get rid of the bolts? Do they weigh something? They might have. It's probably a number where it tells you that you are... Huh. Might have to go back to being naked. <laughs> it's actually not that much different. I think I can deal with that roll. I wonder if I didn't... It just slows down for every pound of weight that you have on your character. I can't tell if that's a shorter roll than before. The game does have co-op BZ, but make sure uh, that you look up how... Oh my god. Oh, I thought his legs were up on that. Make sure that you look up how it how it works before you purchase it with co-op in mind, because it's not as simple as just queuing up with somebody and matchmaking in the lobby. All right. All right, so it looks like we have two smithing stones, so we can take our sword here and make it plus one. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, pretty simple. And then maybe I could sell something to this guy, and then we're going to head off. What is it? Maybe I'll hang on to this stuff, because I don't know exactly what I'm going to use it for. How many souls do I have right now? Let's see where it tells you how many souls you have. Oh, I only have 67 souls. All right, so I'm going to hold on to my my rune. Goodbye what are they called? For now. I'm going to hold on to the things that I can eat that give me souls instead of taking them before I head out. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, Santa. I feel like a true paladin now keep hat and remove everything else well if the role is the same oh, <laughs> never mind that's a joke citizen i don't know why i was about to take that comment seriously it's a pretty funny joke <laughs> i was about to get like serious and tell you why i why i want to have my armor on <laughs> but i realize you're just kind of kidding i feel like if i take the helm off though um it doesn't change the role It doesn't feel like it does, at least. This looks so much more badass, though. I'm doing it for the looks. Let's go. Alright, this is having us go just this way. I guess towards the tree? I really wish I could find a map fragment right now. JML does not seem comfortable to sleep in or fight in. I'm wearing clothes, Fate. Jesse says, I think you have to rest till morning to get your steed. Alright, let me go back and rest. I haven't heard nothing about a horse yet. I've definitely come across more than three grace sites, so... Alright, we'll pass time until morning.
<laughs> Thanks, Spaz. Have a pair of extra tech pointy titties. Oh, I can't wait to learn spells. Well, the memorized spells menu you can memorize sorceries and incantations. So I think incantations are your faith build, and sorcery is your intelligence build. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consume mana. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. All right. And we don't have any spells to memorize right now. I can't wait to get some, though. That's exciting. Definitely want to mess with some of the faith spells. So from what I heard, the faith spells in this game are also... There's also plenty of offensive, like, fire-based spells. So just because you go faith, it doesn't mean that you're just defensive with heals. There's a lot of really cool faith spells that make you feel a bit like a sorcerer, too. Red says, Chainmail isn't comfortable, full stop. I've worn it before. More comfy than getting stabbed, though. <laughs> True. Oh, look at this. Oh, that was a waste. Didn't mean to do that. Wrong button. Oh, shit. Oh, it feels so much better with armor and a shield. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, we got some berries. All right, Rory, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I think you have to get close to the castle. Okay, all right. Headed that way right now. I feel pretty happy that we cleared those two dungeons, though, butt naked. Wonder if chainmail makes you less sneaky. That's very Dark Souls 3-ish right there. Wonder if the fruit adds to your, uh, your weight levels. I would imagine that it does. Oh, shit. Oh, nope, I'm not here. Okay, I'm here. All right, here we go. Picking up all the row of fruit so we can feed our horse if we ever get one. Can't stop picking up the fruit. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming we're going to that gate right there, but it looks like we have a uh, little bandit camp here. And I do plan on clearing it out, so let's do it. Jeff says, the trick with chainmail is belching. Helps support the weight across your body instead of just hanging off your shoulders. Cool, man. Cool. Fun facts. Vlad says, this game is so good looking. I'm on the fence on if I should buy it or not. Alright, let's fight this guy straight up. Come on, get your ass over here. Let's go, baby. Uh oh, he, he's got the old... Uh, Gotta get past the shield here. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, I thought that might actually push the shield out of the way. I feel like Ragnar Lothbrook right now. Okay, that's one done. Definitely gonna clear out this entire camp before we go into the castle. It's funny because I could probably level up to like level four right now. I'm assuming leveling is done with runes though. And that's it. I would guess. I don't know if this is smart, but oh my god, look at this guy's weapon. You got a freaking hammer. Oh shit, that's not good. Did I only aggro one? I think I did. Alright guys, I feel much more comfortable now that I'm not naked. And I'm also not as insecure because you guys aren't talking about my butt cheeks anymore. Uh oh. Oh shit. 
I would love to parry these guys at some point. Hexus with a dollar ninety nine. If you rest at Molina, if you rest at Molina, we'll come to give horse. What's Molina? I haven't found Molina yet. Thanks, Hex. Easier to sneak at night. Cool, cool. I feel like an assassin build would be really cool and most people don't do it because it's harder to kill bosses as an assassin in most games because you're so squishy trying to swing little daggers at a dragon but uh, oh like look at this guys this is so cool i still have to figure out how to call those spirits in i need a bell that's what you guys said That guy doesn't look like the same knights that we're fighting. Uh-oh. Nothing to see here, buddy. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Melina is the maiden. If you rest, she will come. I've already rested. I have to summon her? Oh, I have to summon her at the rest site? Okay, all right. I must have missed, like, the option or something. Shannon, with a Canadian $5 donation, when did you get dressed? That'll be about... Five minutes ago at the camp, I had enough runes to buy some armor, so. Oh, it didn't work. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. This guy's pretty good, actually. Oh, he's real good. Shit. I can take him. I think I can take him, right? Can I? Maybe. Gotta make sure that we don't aggro anybody else. I am out of uh, flasks. Oh, whoa, look at that. That was pretty cool. Oh, wow, look at that. I don't know how to do the rage, but I can... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I'm doing two-handed sword. I like this. I like this a lot. I got this guy. He's nothing. Oh, it feels right with a two-handed sword. I am one shot, though. Now I'm really one shot. <clears throat> Put your helm on? No, oh, man. Look badass without it. The stake is back in the beginning, isn't it? Let me try it. We're close to everything right now, so. Stop, drop, and roll, baby. Oh. Okay. Oh, let me go get my souls. Guys, look how phenomenal this game looks right now. This is incredible. So the funny thing is, when I go to one-handed and then press the barbarian rage that I used to have, he instead does this. This is like a fighting stance. Okay, cool. There's a lot of moves that we really haven't been trying yet. So I could have probably done this with a club or something. Yeah, I like the animations a lot, Braz. I agree. 11 deaths? That's not too bad. Alright. How many runes do I have? Only 689. <clears throat> I'm gonna run back to that campsite. Or I can just fast travel. And we'll see if I can summon this lady. If not, we're going to go towards the castle. This game is similar to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I would have to... 
greatly disagree with that statement because I hate all of the Assassin's Creed games and I also hate Valhalla. Actually, I take it back. I enjoyed the first Assassin's Creed game. Not a fan of the Assassin's Creed games at all. I'm sure there's some similarities though, like open world, but you're gonna you're gonna need a two minute ban for that one. <laughs> just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. There's definitely some similarities, but uh, in my opinion, uh, it's nowhere nowhere near Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I hate Assassin's Creed games. I think I hate all Ubisoft games. They're boring. The combat sucks. I'm getting pissed off. I hate Ubisoft as much as I hate cash shops. But I hope I can like Ubisoft sometime. All right, yeah, I don't see uh, I don't see an option to summon this lady, guys. So I'm going to press on in my own fashion and discover things on my own. I'm sure she'll come at some point. Can't do it here, can I? Wait. Well, you're back. Goodbye for now. No, I don't like I don't like Ubisoft. And I don't like Cash Shop, so they're both the same. <laughs> Ubisoft is getting into uh, blockchain crypto gaming, so get ready, guys. I'm probably going to hate them even more. I got nothing against crypto, but crypto gaming is going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting one. If you guys thought you knew what cash shops are, just get ready till that stuff comes into play. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't know why. I want to like the Assassin's Creed games, and I did buy Valhalla. But when I got into the world, personally, I was just, I just, I was just bored. The first combat encounter wasn't that fun. The combat kind of sucked. And the quests just weren't that interesting. And I don't know. I just didn't really have the lust to explore the open world like I do right now. Maybe. I don't know why. I don't know why. Most Ubisoft games, at least in the, in recent history, I just don't enjoy. I didn't enjoy The Division. Um, Assassin's Creed. What's some other Ubisofts? But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they'll make a game that I like at some point, but I think the style of Ubisoft just doesn't do well with me. It's funny that, like, most of their games that come out I just don't like. And with that said, if you guys are Assassin's Creed fans, all the better for you. That's awesome. I don't want to not like games, but... I, I wish I loved everything, you know what I mean? But... Yeah, Assassin's Creed sucks. <laughs> what the hell is this? Should I swing at it? Uh-oh. Oh, no! What the hell is that? Is it running from me? They're both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum. Oh, okay. So this is just to get some flasks back, which I basically don't need right now because I'm full. I think that's all that that was for. Probably super useful for you out in the world just exploring. Oh, did Ubisoft make Rainbow Six Siege? Well, that's different because it's a multiplayer game. I'm talking like, you know, single player open world type games from Ubisoft. Well, Division's also multiplayer, but Rainbow Six Siege is, is straight up FPS. I'm thinking of the right game, right? FPS competitive game. Division's a looter shooter and Assassin's Creed is an open world game, so... Character looks like Uhtred. Uhtred of Bebenberg. I was going for the Viking look. I do have a mullet, though, that you guys can't really see. Uh, underneath the little man bun that I have is, is a mullet, so... Adoka says, I share that unpopular opinion. Assassin's Creed franchise is trash. <laughs> now, like I said, guys, I wish I enjoyed them, because I know a lot of you guys enjoyed Valhalla, and I'm jealous of you. Absolutely jealous of you. It's not good to not like something. But, uh, yeah. Alright. This guy needs to die because we didn't kill him last time. Let me go to two-handed. Oh, that was a whiff. And I hear somebody. Oh, shit. That's not good. Not good at all. Shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I am Uhtred. Son of Uhtred. I wish there was friendly fire and they would hit each other. I can take these jabronis. These guys are nothing. Oh, shit. These guys are pretty good with their shields. I'm not gonna lie. Wonder if I should fight with a shield. Oh, shit. Let's go, baby. 
I feel right at home with this sword right now. I need a big ass great sword. That's what I need. That's not good. If I could figure out how to summon things in this game, I'd be fine. Dude, are you shitting me right now? I kicked his ass before. I gotta figure out how to wait to, to get their uh, guard. Oh, that was freaking awesome. Did you guys see that parry right there? Shit, man. I am screwed right now. Alright, we're gonna have to... I have been defeated. Not a misinformation on crypto with regards to gamers. Oh, there's definitely a lot of information out there, Julio. Um, I got nothing against crypto. I've done a lot of research on, on on different cryptocurrencies, and there's a lot of really good use cases out of them. Um, I've looked a little bit into crypto gaming, and a lot of them are pay to earn. Um, and and uh, a lot of them are are money based. So I think any game that is IRL money based um, is going to be problematic for the industry for people like us that like to pay one price for a game so that does worry me but earning tokens in game to exchange like real money yeah it sounds cool um but i just hope it doesn't overtake gaming because i still want to play my one price uh, single player <laughs> and i hate cash shops too but all right i think i'm gonna move on we're gonna go up here oh it looks like we have a, a new grace new grace spot crypto gaming is the future of everything it's the future of something, that's for sure. It's coming, whether you like it or not. I just don't want to play games that are um, fueled by people wanting to earn money or buy things with their money outside of the game itself. It doesn't sound like a good future to me. Sounds like a greedy future. But uh, as long as we keep getting other types of games, uh, then whatever, who cares? Okay, we might be meeting Melina for the first time. Now you can invest into crypto gaming and make a lot of money off of it. Sandbox is probably one of the biggest ones. Sandbox and Decentraland. Oh, we found her. Greetings. Traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina? Or melon head. Okay. Oh, okay. I offer you an accord. You can see like the JRPG ness out of this game because from software is from Japan. Finger maidens. They serve the two fingers. Offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength. This is how we level up for sure. In your What's up, Keith? Elden Ring. Loving it a lot, man. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Yeah, I'm loving it a lot, Keith. Uh, the whole time before you arrived, I was naked. So it was pretty tough because I played the uh, the hardest starting class where you start naked with a club, but now I finally have armor. Um, it's pretty amazing. This open world is, uh, is quite the world to explore. And it's settled. Summon me by grace. To turn runes into strength. What if you don't? What if you don't accept that? Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Nice. The spectral steed. There we go. We got our horse. You this is exciting. 
to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Very cool. Very cool. Torrent has chosen you. Oh, this is exciting. All right, so we can also level up. Oh, shit. Now I got to figure out what I want to do. What do I want to do? Now we got to start getting into the builds. Now, if I do a two-handed sword, likely want to do strength at some point. But I could start doing faith right now. But vigor is also HP and endurance is stamina. And also, hold on, let's check them out. When you level up, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. So I'm still level one right now. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm still level one. Alright. I've been playing for three or four hours and I'm still level one. Uh, playing on PC, man. Go summons. What's up, Sesame? Yeah, I'm playing the, the wretch. I'm starting to wonder if it was a good decision. Having a good time, though. All right, so I think I'm going to level up. I think I'm going to do strength. I'm going to need strength and dex to a certain degree, regardless of what weapon I end up going with, because a lot of weapons have a requirement of both strength and dex. So it's probably okay to start off with one point into strength. Uh, vigor wouldn't hurt, but uh, I think I need to get my strength up so I can wield certain weapons. So let's go with that. I am now level two. Okay. I don't have a golden seed. Okay. All right. I can't wait to try this horse out here in a second. Use a sacred tier. So I don't think I have a sacred tier. Nope. No sacred tier. Um, four and one. I think I'm good with that. Let's go to. How much do I need to level up again? I need 689, so I can probably get that out of my, uh, hold on. Use a Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon again, but it will cost one flask of Crimson Tears. Interesting. You can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing L. Okay. All right, before we do that exciting thing, let me just quickly, hold on. Oh my god, we're getting a lot of tutorials right now. Yo, Pauline, thank you so much for the $5 donation. I don't know what max level is, Keith. I think you can get 99 in a specific stat, though. Yeah, I don't know what max level is. Not sure. Um, Keith, if you, most people will start this game, though. You start at, like, level 9 or 10 if you choose other classes. I just chose the Wretch class, and you start at level 1 naked. So, <laughs> I think there's a class that actually starts you at level 9. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it, man. I'm playing it exactly the way I want to do it, Elsar. I wouldn't take back a damn thing. You didn't tell me nothing. All right. From the pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. All right. Cool. All right. So before... Before I try out the steed, I know it's exciting, guys. What I want to do quickly is... Is eat... Gobble these up real fast. <laughs> I'm gonna take all five. Wait, maybe four. How much is that gonna give me? 800, perfect. And... Oh shit, how do you summon her back? Okay, you just go to level up. Alright, and then we're gonna do another point into strength. And I'm going to eat a couple more, and then we're going to hop on the horse. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Actually, I'm going to save those. Okay, it's time to go riding. It is time to go riding. How do we do it? Inventory. Um... Spectral Steed Whistle. Summon and Ride Torrent. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh my god. The freaking particle effects are just so amazing. 120 to 150 is usually the soul's meta for level, says Julio. Okay. Max level is 700. Holy cow. 
Oh yeah, the leveling's coming back to me. I think I beat Bloodborne at like 60 or 70. Dark Souls 3, I might have been like 70. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look how beautiful this game is. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. My first mounted combat experience. Can I go two-handed? Oh, I can. No, I can't. Oh, I got the shield now. Oh, shit! Oh, wow, the horse, I think, took damage right there. Oh, you can double jump! Look at that, guys. God, the graphics are so good. The particle effects are just... Absolutely amazing at nighttime. Erica, great to see your name again. Thank you so much for the SCK 500, which I believe is close to 50 US American dollars. So thank you so much, Erica. I think I'm going to get off my horse. Hold on. All right, there we go. We killed him. Thanks a lot, Erica. Let's go to the tavern after that one. I appreciate you. I feel like we haven't seen your name in a while. Hope all is well. Hope everybody's uh, hope everybody's safe and sound right now. I know there's a lot going on in the world. Uh, oh, it kind of feels weird to be playing video games and streaming while things are going on, but hope everybody's uh, everybody's doing all right out there. Skull. Not sure if you hold attack, you grind the sword on the ground, ready for a strike. Interesting. Thank you, Erica. All right, let's try a couple things with the horse. Um, shit. How do I get it back? Oh my god, great call on that one. Look at that, that's so cool. That's so cool, man. The animations are so good in this game. Oh, look at that. So I didn't even realize that you can attack left side of the horse or right side. Then you got heavy on the left. And you got heavy on the right. Super cool, man. Oh, and then you jump off. All right, beautiful. Let's see if this guy can handle this. Oh, I missed. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> I never expected mounted combat in a Souls game. It's just unbelievable. Oh my god. Requires some timing, though. So I think some of the bosses in this game are designed for mountain com mounted combat. Oh, look at that. There's another resting place this close. See ya. Still gotta clear out this camp. <sighs> it's pretty hard, but I I'm getting used to it. Oh, look, I think that's a there's something, an item that I want right there. Mounted combat's actually really smooth and really good. Not getting any FPS drop either. Oh shit, not good. Not good. <laughs> not good. <laughs> Anybody else? Get your ass over here.
Looks like uh, it's about to be dawn. Damn, that guy just... Anybody else? Oh shit. Took a lot of damage right there actually. Uh oh! I think my horse is taking a lot of damage. Can I heal on the horse? Yes, I can. Nice. Come on. Everybody's got shields. Brought guns to a knife fight. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go, baby. These guys are nothing. These guys are absolutely nothing. Sound effects are really good too. Let's parry attack. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. Hold on. That's cool. Sounds great. I'm about to die. Shit. Are you kidding me? I don't know what I'm trying. I'm trying something weird right now. Hold on. If I go back like that, oh, I can do light and heavy attack. Okay, I see how it is. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Bye, Shy. Very smooth combat. I'm very impressed. Imagine DS fishing. Roll, roll, cast, real, roll, roll. Can you use a bow while mounted? <laughs> Asking for the samurais out there. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I haven't found a bow yet. Yep, this is PC with a controller. And I'm supposed to be able to feed my horse, so let's see how that works real fast. I don't see that the horse's HP bar, though. Alright, I just want to clear out this camp, and then we'll go to a different area. This is the big bad guy right here, though. Damn, he's pretty tough. He knows what he's doing. Not really an enemy to fight on horseback. One more hit, baby. One more hit. There we go. All right. Now we can check items in this camp. Can't wait to get like a decked out medium armor set. That's what I'm super excited for. Erica, thanks again. Really appreciate it. Description for the weapon arts is on each weapon. Okay, let's take a look at that right now. Um. Okay, so straight sword, standard pierce, square off. So that's that weapon feature that we have where we can hold it back. Um, is there another? And then we got this. Okay. Shit. <laughs> See ya. The mount system is very much like Darksiders. Haven't played that one. Thanks for lurking, Shy. I appreciate it. Your streams provide a good escape from the stresses and negatives of the world. 
Great to hear, Rio Zen. Happy to. Oh shit! Happy to provide something in some way, shape, or form. That's why, uh, that's why I don't like to talk politics on this stream or on this channel, because uh, there should be a place where we can all just hang out and talk video games. We can hate each other in other places. <laughs> All right, let's fight this guy like a true warrior. Let's go, baby. Ow. Wish I could take his shield. It's a badass shield. All right, how many souls do we have? 1,200. All right, just double checking for secrets in the camp, and then we're going to probably head through the gate. I mean, we have this big open... I wish I could find a map fragment. We are in... We've only explored such a small part of this world. It's kind of crazy to think about how much uh, there's still to do. It's kind of crazy. Neil says, fellas, I've been playing for uh, all of 20 minutes, and I can confirm this game is good AF. <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, the only negative feedback that I have so far is the FPS drops, but they haven't even been that bad for PC. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's still playable, and, and I would buy it in its current form, but they need to fix it as soon as they can. Oh, shit. Oh shit, is he ha I don't know what this guy's doing, but I don't got any health flasks. Oh shit, 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 where's my horse? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I don't want to rest because I almost have this entire camp uh, explored right now. Let's see if we can get him out here a little bit. Damn, look how bloody my guy is. Oh, wow, what a slice out of him. Gotta give him credit for that one. Whew, baby. All right, we might have to stealth the rest of this camp. Hate exists in so many different parts of this world. It's nice to have an escape. Yeah, I, I agree, man. I agree. The funny thing is, uh, you know, if we actually did talk politics on this channel, it's funny how many of you guys would probably hate each other. <laughs> Isn't that interesting how it works? But it, when it comes down to it, we're all just people trying to have a good time. We all have different opinions on things. And uh, it's nice to see that. It's nice to see everybody getting along. And on this channel, I've been blessed with this community because everybody's uh, everybody's been so great. I think most people mean well, regardless of their uh, political beliefs, and I think it's important to recognize that and not uh, try to understand different viewpoints. And I'm not old, but I've gone through different, different phases in my own life, and now that I'm 32, I'm starting to understand that <laughs> opinions also change over time, and you become more wise over the years, and you start to understand why some people might feel the way that they do. And they're not just idiots, or whatever you want to call them. Not everybody's a, a libtard, and not everybody's a racist, alright? So. <laughs> and now we're done talking about that. That's as far as I will go. Alright, there's a couple more. It looks like I might actually be able to go up to that crate. Um... But first, we'll go over to this summon spot right here. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. All right. This is... Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This is what they introduced to me in the beginning of the game. Um, we now can see our map, but now is not the time to look at the map because <laughs> we have somebody coming after me. So let me mount up here. I really don't want to rest because I have this entire camp. Maybe I could hide from him and actually get a stealth kill. Let me come over here. See if we can evade him real fast. Yeah, you guys know my age now. I kept it secret for about a year. Um, but I don't care anymore. It was fun watching you guys guess. 
I did a poll on the channel one time and everybody thought I was I did a poll with different age ranges and most people thought I was in my mid to late 20s so I'll take it as a compliment I'm an old man Anders says I will leave the stream if it gets political for sure that's why we don't do it here Spaz says, I'm going to go play politics in Kingmaker. It's a lot less political that way. We could talk in-game politics on this channel, guys, of course. We can have debates and get mad at each other, but no IRL politics, please. Please, please, please. All right, I'm going to see if I can stealth kill this guy, and then we'll do the rest of this camp, and then we're going to just head into those doors right there, into the castle, which is our main quest, I guess. Even though there's no journal in this game. Oh yeah, the basement in the camp. Thank you, Darkstorm. All right, well, maybe I'll go to that first um, after we kill this guy real fast. See if I can get a quick stealth kill. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I almost lost it right there. See ya. I'm the old man. Well, I sure as hell know that I'm uh, not the oldest on this channel. I can tell you guys that. Mr. Inadequate, I haven't seen him tonight, but he turned 70 the other day. And then we had Elder Geek Gamer in here, who's also a channel member, and I think he might be 72. A lot of guys in their 50s and 60s. The most common age group is around me, though, which makes sense. Um, between, I don't know, 28 and 34 or something like that. All right, treasure chest ahead. Oh. There we go. Nice. Andrew says, I'm about to turn 50 years young. I like it. I like the way you think. Oh my god. What did I just pick up? Oh, I can't wield it effectively. Uh, it requires 16 strength. Let's check it out, though. I can still wield it, just not effectively. Oh my god. Sign me up. I just am a sucker for a good two-handed sword. I absolutely love it. Maybe a bit too slow for me. Maybe I'd prefer a dexterity two-handed sword. Looks really good, though. Oh, interesting. Every sword's got, like, its own abilities and stuff. Super cool. Super cool. And whatever the hell... Whatever the hell that is right there. It must be, like, some sort of damage absorption or parry or something like that. Maybe it's a parry. Take a look at the sword. Upward cut. Stamp and upward cut. Oh, is that consuming mana or charges? I might have just wasted all those. All right, we can't use it anyway, so let's go back to uh, this sword. Okay, um, before I go through those gates right there, I am going to rest quickly, and then we're going to go into the basement. These are kind of hard to get. We're going to go into the basement of this camp. Tate says I turn 21 every year. <laughs> Shit, wrong button. Guys, I'm still a noob at this game. This work the same way in some souls weapons do. If you wield a weapon in two hands, you ignore its requirements. I'm not sure. I'm not, I can't confirm that. That could be that could be true though. Looks like it's morning now. Okay, I'm just so tempted to just run. Oh, let's take a look at the map. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is a beautiful aesthetic for a map. I absolutely love it. I'm hoping that Baldur's Gate will do something like this. This is just such, such a nice map. And you know what? Oh, it does get a little blurry when you zoom in. <laughs> That's always a problem with maps, with resolution. It's still fine, though. All right, so we started right here at the graveyard. And then we went to the first step. And then we went to the church. And now we're at the... Gr oh, wait. The Groveside Cave is the first dungeon that... Oh, no. The first dungeon we cleared out was this one right here. The Catacombs. Then we cleared out the Wolf Cave. And now we're in the Gatefront Ruins. We have a multiplayer summon. Okay. All right. Um, And it does tell you the main quest. There is an indication that we're supposed to go this way for the main quest. 
You guys can see like the the ray. God, I'm so tempted to just go, just start running through the world. It's the map is so big too. We're just in like one fragment of the map. There's like different main areas, and we're only in one area. So crazy. We have to go to that island too. I wonder if you can go to that. Really like the artwork for this though. This might be one of my favorite maps I've ever seen in a video game, to be honest with you. Alright, let's uh, take a quick rest. All the enemies are going to respawn in. Queen Tiamat says, I stopped aging at 30 as I decided I didn't like it. <laughs> oh no, that's why I appreciate you guys on this. All your guys' support over the past couple years has really meant a lot to me because... Um, as a man in his young 30s, you're at a spot in life where you really want to get things going. You know what I mean? And the longer things take, the more, uh, I don't want to say insecure, but the more worried you get about your future. Because, you know, when you get into your late 20s and, and your 30s, you start thinking about, man, maybe I want to have a family. Maybe I want to have a house. Maybe I want to have land. Maybe I want to save up to help my parents. You know, stuff like that that you didn't think about when you're in your mid to young 20s. And uh, you know, I didn't really start gaming content until I was like 29. Started started dipping into gaming content 28 29 uh, before that my channel was a music channel um so yeah for things to uh take off this past year and a half has been uh has been incredible and i owe you guys my life for that so thank you i don't know where i would be right now to be honest with you i'd probably just be working some shitty job I'm not someone who gets uh I'm not someone who gets depressed easily. Uh I've been fortunate in that regards. But uh when I'm working a soul sucking job, it hits me harder than it hits other people because I know a lot of people can work jobs that they don't like and they're still okay with it and they love their life and they come home and they use their money to do things and they love it. it just sucks my soul though. It doesn't do good with me, so Everybody's different though. Okay, let's go through the Oh, we got to go to the basement. Shit. Am I able to get to the basement without I might have to stealth into here. Hold on, let's try stealthing. Cave down in the water. Oh, there's just so much to explore. We're just still in this one area. It's crazy. Having a shield on your back actually protects you from arrows. That'd be pretty sweet. I guess a two second, uh, two second spam time is not enough. Okay, guys, we're going in. I'm trying to get down here without being s spotted, though. Oh, I think he sees me. How does he not see me? Dimitri, with a five euro donation. Hey, Wolf, I really enjoyed it so far, but I haven't played any Dark Souls games. In your opinion, can I start Elden Ring story-wise? They have any connection? No connection. Completely different world. Um, so yes, you can start Elden Ring. Just just make sure you're aware of the difficulty. I'm not sure if you're into games like that, Dimitris, because this game is going to be more accessible for the average player, but it is, it is also... It is also difficult, I can tell, as someone who's played the Souls games before. Um, there's going to be bosses that people can never get past, like every Souls game out there. Um, and there's going to be a lot of frustrating moments. It's still, it's still a Souls game at its core, so you have to uh, be okay with that. Oh, shit. definitely not a game for people who like to play games on story mode or even normal mode and there's no difficulties in this game there's only one difficulty um, but what you can do if you if, if you struggle with games and you don't like to be frustrated um you can shit shit shit, shit. volk nasty's playing forza nice if you don't like to struggle with games but you still want to play this game you can look up powerful builds first of all and uh cheese it a little bit in that way but also you can just summon people in to help you quite a lot i'm going the non-summon route at least for my first couple sessions because i want to experience the game difficulty on my own without the help of somebody else because i know that co-op is kind of broken in the other souls games but uh but yeah you can summon in people to help you dimitri if i don't, I don't know what type of player you are you might just like it as it is but just be aware Mason Crow with a $50 donation. Try finger butthole. <laughs> Thanks for the 50, man. Finger butthole? You mean you want me to summon somebody? Thanks, Mason. Okay, we're going down into the dungeon. I don't know what try finger butthole means. <laughs> you can clarify in the chat and I'll look out for it. <laughs> 
Does it use scaling? What do you mean by that, bros? Thought the wolf sound was super chat was the super chat donation, but the real wolf showed up. That's probably both. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't get into this. Oh, you can. You can't be crouching while you go in. Thanks a lot, Mason. Appreciate that, man. Oh, wow. Look at this. Nice. It's not an actual dungeon. I'm kind of happy because I'd like to move on from this area. Hidden path ahead. What does that mean? Maybe it's a mimic chest. <laughs> I had to swing at it just to be careful. Ooh. Thanks again, Mason. That's a, that's a pretty big donation. I'm looking for your comment in the chat, though. I don't know if it's just a joke or what. <laughs> this takes practice, really? True. But not a lot of people like to have to practice in video games. It's a different style. I like to be frustrated. I like to die 150 times and have to come back to a game a year later just to beat one boss. I enjoy that. I enjoy the sense of uh, satisfaction and achievement, but not everybody likes their video games like that. So the Souls games are not for everybody, and I would think Elden Ring is included in that category after playing what I have played of it. All right, with a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. Armaments type determines what skill it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be, excuse me, granted new ones. Interesting. Any skill it previously had will be removed. Okay, so we got like special weapon skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant. Oh, okay. Alter and armaments attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. Armaments type determines what affinities it can have. Some special armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted. Okay, all right. And we have an Ashes of War War Stomp and a Whetstone Knife. <laughs> Interesting. So we have to go to the main menu for that, maybe? I have to get myself some more water, guys, so if you excuse me for one second. We're going to take a two-second break. Souls is more skill-based versus God of War. I think I would agree with that, too. Uh, God of War... Uh, I played God of War on the God of War difficulty, though, and it was really difficult, so... Uh, God of War on normal mode, though, is nothing compared to the Souls game, in my opinion. All right, be right back. All right, Ferris, have a good night. Skull. Yeah, for some reason, my webcam is weird tonight. I'll have to check that out after. Uh, next stream will be better, I promise you guys. 
Dimitri, no issues from the difficulty. Thanks for your insight. Awesome, man. Awesome. I'm Mason, thanks again for the 50. Erica, thank you for the SCK. I appreciate you guys very much. Encumbrance is a thing, Sesame. It's actually quite important. Um, if your encumbrance level is too high, it starts to affect your dodge and your rolls. So, um, I could show you right now, Sesame. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's my roll right now with the chainmail that I'm wearing. If I take off the chainmail, this is my roll. Much quicker and much further. Uh, that's probably the biggest, uh, biggest thing for encumbrance. Oh, I didn't realize I picked that up. All right, so we got to figure out the uh, the whetstone stuff, but we're not going to do that right now. Let's go back up top and go through the door. You love the acoustic music? Cool, man. That's the idea behind it. The chat screens are supposed to be a chill place. like a whole army coming out. Oh my god. Stormgate. Oh shit. Uh oh, we got somebody shooting. Uh oh. See ya. Dude, the whole army's coming after me. Oh my god. Oh no. What the hell? Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, it's coming after me. Oh shit. All right, we got to run. This is not something we can fight right now. It didn't work. I don't think that's meant for me right now. That was just ridiculous. Okay, let's get up to a safe point. I heard the wolf go off. I'll take a look at that donation in a second. Okay, I think we're safe for a second. Um, let's hide. Wow. That was crazy. Love this open world format. Ladies and gentlemen, Mason Crow with another donation. Absolutely massive. The message I wrote is a common joke in the Souls series using Dark Souls message system. You can write out try finger but oh okay, okay. Um alright, I think I saw a message earlier, Mason, in this game that uh that, that said that already. I was wondering what it meant. So people write it all over. I'm sure you'll see it in this playthrough. I'm done with my food, so back to playing myself. Have a good night. Mason, thank you so much. That's that's ridiculous. To the tavern for Mason. Yeah, it's funny, man, because I've played all the Souls games before, but I've never really talked about them with people or anything, so I don't really know the memes and everything. Kind of just played them by myself. Bloodborne was my favorite. I hope we get a Bloodborne too. Mason, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Hopefully catch you on a stream tomorrow. Good luck on your playthrough. Braz with the make it rain. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you, Mason. Thank you for explaining that, Mason. You didn't have to do it with a $100 donation, though. <laughs> that was just ridiculous. I kind of want to go back and, like, clear out that area, but I feel like... It's like everywhere I go, I want to kill every enemy that I see. Yeah, that's bringing us to the castle for the main story. Maybe I'll come down. I'm, you know what? I'm not I'm not in any rush. I, I'm just enjoying this game. Let's come back this way. See if we can take out a couple of these uh couple of these jabronis on our way down. I'd love to clear out this little valley before I leave it. It might be a bit too high of a level for me. I'm not sure how we're going to kill that monster. <laughs> That guy's just sleeping. Alright, we're gonna go for the stealth kill on this guy. How'd that not work? Oh, get out of here. Shit! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Still haven't learned how to parry in this game yet. Nice. 
to the tavern. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> See, we got some new viewers tonight, or new stream viewers. I don't know if you've uh, if, you're, if you're already subscribed to the channel, Mason, but we always go to the tavern around here. It's a great time. All right, so I picked up the chain draped tabard, which is less physical immunity, but the weight is 8.3, so it's a little bit less. All around, it's worse. All around, it's worse. Um, a little bit less in weight, but it's not going to change anything in regards to our role, I don't believe. Hmm. Welcome to the RPG channel. Yeah, welcome, welcome. I figured we'd have some new viewers tonight. Hope you guys like CRPGs. <laughs> Dude, this thing is nuts. I feel like this guy, the way, the damage that he did to me when I was on my horse was really, uh, really frightening. What about that stomp? I don't know how to do that yet uh, with the mason knife. Um, I don't know if I have to do that when I'm at the camp. Um, or you just click. Um, I have to take a look at that tutorial again. Delirium says, is it worth getting this on PS4 or should I get a PC? I'm not sure. You'd have to watch some uh, PS4 gameplay. Thanks for your channel membership, by the way, Delirium. Uh, I'd probably watch some PS4 gameplay to see what it looks like. I'm not sure what the FPS is. I would imagine it's 60. If it's not 60, that would be horrible. Uh, I remember playing Bloodborne at 30 on my PS4. I think Dark Souls 3 was also 30 when I played. I can't even imagine playing on 30 ever again. I would imagine it's probably worth it on PS4. I don't think you need a PC just to play this game if you don't have one already, but... I mean, PC's great, though. Ever since I made the switch to uh, PC gaming, um, I guess I'm part of the PC Master Race crowd because it's there's no reason to go back to console. I do have a PS4, which is nice to play Sony exclusives, but yeah, I don't know. And if you like controller, you can just hook your uh, hook your controller right up. So. I would imagine it runs pretty good on PS4. Oh, shit. I would imagine it runs good on PS4, as long as it's 60 FPS. It'd be interesting to look at a comparison video of PS4 to PS5 and the difference. Am I doing this, guys? <laughs> this is nuts. Am I doing this? This is not an early access game. Nope, Matthew, it came out. Full game, 60 bucks. I did pick the naked class. What's up, Daniel? Uh, I finally have clothes. Oh, shit. It took me about two hours to get clothes, Daniel. Until I found my first weapon, I was using naked in a club. Dude, what am I doing right now? Okay, I think I can take him, maybe. Definitely don't want to get caught. Oh, shit. I have to abandon this fight, guys. Been a while since I died, but there we go. Liking it a lot, Concedia. I'm liking it a lot so far. It won't detect controller? Interesting, uh, Watchtower. Did you try playing in the big screen controller mode or whatever the hell it's called for Steam? My controller's working pretty good. I had one problem when I first started, but other than that. Um, you might have to go into your settings and make sure you select the type of controller that you have. I'm not sure if you've done that yet. I think I can take him. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> okay, we gotta go back through here and all the enemies- Oh my god, look at him up there. Oh, that's so cool that I can see it this time. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? <laughs> I can't take him with all the enemies. I can promise- Oh shit, I gotta get my souls. I'm dead. I am so dead. Maybe it's a better idea to wait for this. <laughs> oh, duty! Oh, shit! Alright, it's not coming anymore. Oh, it's still coming. Oh, shit. I 
Anybody else want a piece of this? Get your ass over here. I love the jump attacks. They're so cool. Shit, I can't take him if he's got a... Uh, if I'm getting shot by... It's apparently heat-seeking bolts. <whistles> Playing on mouse and keyboard? <laughs> nice. Be able to cheese him like this. Not really cheesing, but I might be able to do this. I need to figure out where my my horse's HP is. Shit. That's a problem. That's a problem. What the, the nine hells was that? Dude, how many crossbowmen are there? Okay, that thing's got a lot of distance on it. Not scared of nothing. Not scared of nothing. Not scared of nothing. I did do the dungeon with the giant cat. Yep. The giant cat, and then I did the dungeon with the uh, werewolf looking creature. I forget his name. Holy mother of bearded elves. All right, guys, maybe I'll hold off on this guy. I feel like I can kill him, but it's just going to take a while with those archers. I think I'm going to push on past this area and come back. See if we can get past him this time. Should be able to. got a little bit of a blow out of his trumpet there okay I think I'm probably good oh my god all right all right we'll come back to that guy all right storm hill welcome hey we got a golden seed I think I can get another flask with the golden seeds oh I can't look at the map when in combat apparently It's just like I want to explore every I want to hit every inch of this map. I think I'm gonna come over here real fast. Let's set a marker. Oh, it shows on the compass. Okay. I liked it better when it wasn't raining. Check out this upper area right here. Marcus has finally got home from work. I have to try this game. What's up, Clinton? Clinton, are, are you playing? Oh, you gotta- oh shit, you gotta wait until midnight, don't you, Clinton? I'm loving it so much, man. I think you're gonna love it. I'm excited for you, Clinton. I really am. I think you're gonna love it. Let us know how it runs on PS4, too. A couple people are asking in chat if it's worth it getting on PS4. I would imagine it's 60 FPS. That's probably great. The hell is this? 
Yeah, but it's really good so far, man. I, I think I can already basically... Oh, shit. The hell is that? I think at this point, I can already basically say that this is definitely probably the best Souls game uh, ever made. can already just tell um, from what I've played so far that it's... Oh, shit. Do I want to go through that? I want to explore over here real fast. Dude, what are these things? Very confused at what, what those things are. Let's fight one off horseback. Waking so hard from the dream with that one. Fighting Cowboy has played over 80 hours and he says there's still plenty to do. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, Fighting Cowboy's, uh, a lot of his channel growth is from the Souls games. Oop. Don't know what these do, but I want to find out. Oh, do I want to find out? Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, I don't want to find out. God, I wonder how many of these creatures George R. R. Martin is responsible for. PS5 squad? Nice, Ryan. Nice. Fortunately, the PS5 is still kind of hard to get, I think. I decided to play the, uh, the naked class, Clinton. It took me, like, three hours to get my first weapon. <laughs> In armor. It was pretty sad. It was a good time, though. Oh, gotta keep... I, I'm not used to the buttons, guys. I'm sorry. Balls totems reminds me Super Mario's enemies. Yeah, I guess so. What am I getting here? Nice. Some fruit. So, where's my horse's HP? I still haven't figured that out yet. Still haven't figured that out, but we're gonna give him some food. There you go, buddy. And this is the lower area. We're actually above the first dungeon that I did right now. We're on top of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, look, we got another map fragment, I think, over here, I believe. Just double check, make sure we're not missing anything in here. Oh, whoa, 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 we got a bat problem. We got a bat problem. Can't wait to sling spells off horseback. Die, bat. There we go. I think there's a couple more, though. There is. Hey, wake up. I guess they're sleeping. We'll let them live then. We'll let them live their life. If they're not hostile towards me, that's fine. Awesome. Thanks, Quentin. Better than Bloodborne? I, I mean, so far, I think so. I really like I really like the open world format a lot more than linear formats, so that might be partial, partially the reason why. But yeah, better than Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. At least my initial experience so far. Um. Oh, this is my marker. Okay, okay, I thought it was... Alright, so it does show in the sky. Well, that's pretty cool. So what if we put the marker... Oh, wait, hold on. Remove beacon. I don't have an A. Let's place a beacon right here. Yeah, you can see it all the way. Oh, wait, what? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, there it is right there. All right, the other ones weren't supposed to show right there. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised that From Software gives any direction for that. Pretty sure you can just jump off cliffs too with this, with this horse right here. I don't 
know about this cliff though. <laughs> oh, what what is that? Hello, hello. We make sure there's no uh, cave in here. Saw some materials. I guess to get up top, we have to go all the way around, perhaps? To fight those jellyfish? Yeah, I think so. All right, we're gonna go around. Feels oh my god, holy boar! In the nine hells? Shit! <laughs> Good thing I got a jumping horse. Oh, I'm not getting any... Any leather scraps out of that guy? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, let's go around. Hoping the weather clears up here soon. Definitely feels like Ghost of Tsushima right now. Let's go. Travel on foot for a second. Showing Xbox controls. Yeah, I don't know why, if there's a way to change that or what. It did that. What? How were those summoned? How did those just drop from the sky? Like, what was that? I just summoned them. Excuse me. some FPS and droppage here. Maybe we'll pass some time here. Get rid of the wind and weather. I'm assuming if we switch the time of day, it'll go away. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, look, there's a, a merchant in here. Guess I don't need the horse. Never tick off the horse. Hey guys, uh, when you guys hear this message, everybody make sure that you are watching the stream live by hitting the live button in the bottom left of your screen if you're on mobile or making sure you drag it all the way to the right on desktop. Ooh, we found a key. And if I recall correctly, we needed a key back in the starting area to get through a certain area. Maybe I'll come back to that. The pack. What's me, up, Craig? They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. For you? <laughs> Only to have their arms taken, their legs taken, even their heads taken, taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know? If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. The lock when you think about it. I wish I had a, a Dark Souls channel <laughs> or partially Dark Souls. I can't wait to learn about that lore. I'm gonna watch uh, Vadi Vidya, whatever you call him. He's got great lore videos. All right, so I don't even know how to do these emotes, but let's uh, let's take a nap. A little bit, you can just destroy everything. And see if we can get rid of this wind, or if it's just this particular area. Might be able to level up too, actually. 
All right, should I start doing faith now? I don't have any faith spells, though. I'll do another one into strength. Oh, whoa. Oh, baby, I can use the two-handed sword now. You guys ready for this? Let me pass some time. What's up, Volk Nasty? You getting pumped up for some Tiny Tinas? Every time I see your name now, I just think about Tiny Tinas, Volk. Alright, apparently the weather doesn't change in this area. Um, but what we can do is now equip our... Yeah, strength... Requirement 16 dex 10, so I can use this now effectively. I'm not sure if when you go two-handed, if it already is effectively. Um, and we will go ahead and... Try it out. Nice, man. Seems like a heavy, uh... Seems like a heavy sword. <laughs> Booney... Booney Vels. Mwah. 133. Thanks so much for the $20 donation. <laughs> Who is that? Who is Booney? I know you've donated before. I'm getting to the bottom of this right now, once and for all. I'm getting to the freaking bottom of this. Oh, I know who it is. You always go anonymous. Was it Steven again? <laughs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right, guys, let's press on. We got to get past this windy area. I want to make sure that anybody that's just stopping in now gets to see the beauty of this game and not just this windy area. Uh, I'll talk to her one more time because kind of got to keep talking to these NPCs to get good info. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. One with the spider. Oh, I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. Yeah, it is a bit scary. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I like her cloak. But a craven. She looks like a Roman. Oh, can you take this little one along with you? Oh, cool. I got another spirit summon. I still don't know how to summon them, though. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think. The little one. I still don't know how to summon spirits. I have to find like a bell or something. Um, pretty cool though. Got so many spirit summons now. Got jellyfish and everything. <laughs> summon spirit jellyfish. That's really cool. You know what I should do? I should just put, um... I should put the horse... Sorry, I'm still a little bad with my my controls here. I want to put the horse on my top slot, but I don't know how to. Yeah, whatever. Raslin says, congrats on doing the panel. They were lucky to have you. Thanks a lot, man. It was a great experience. Thanks to you guys I got invited. Thanks to you guys. Yes, my character's got kind of like a White Walker undead look going to it. Very pale, ashen skin. I think it's pretty cool. Gotta say, listening to YouTubers making stuff up to fill in gaps in lore is entertaining. <laughs> is it that is that the case for a lot of the Souls games? There's so much lore, but so much to decipher at the same time. Head back to the first stone, Lady appears there. To go back to the first stone? It was a pleasure to fall. Can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle. Tell them I love them. The chrysalids. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. All right. Finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know. Okay, we'll talk to her one more time. It's a pleasure to see you. All right, you oh, too. Can you tell All right, them cool. I love and finally getting the hang of this whole. All right, guys, let's press on. Yeah, I got to be in the panel from hell, Clinton. If you just, uh, if you, if you click on my channel and look at my latest video, or no, the video before, two videos ago, 
Uh, I made a video on the whole experience, but yeah, Larian Studios uh, invited me over there and they paid for the entire trip, first class and everything. And I got to be in the panel from hell for the uh, Patch 7 announcement. It was quite the experience. It was uh, life-changing. Very, uh, very grateful to get that opportunity. Uh, I looked like an idiot during the live show, but uh, it was cool, though. Rob M, thank you so much for the $5 donation. I actually like the wind and the rain with the trees shaking. It's quite calming. You know what, Rob? Maybe we'll just stay in this area, just for you. Thanks, Rob. Uh, it happened last week, Clinton. I got to go all the way out to Belgium last minute. They asked me if I wanted to go, then within like four days, I was already up in the air flying over there. Um, but yeah, I put a video on the channel um, going over my experience uh, with pictures and everything. Uh, the panel from hell is obviously can be watched on Larian Studios' channel or my channel, but a video on the entire experience is a couple back on my channel, I think. I think it's called Baldur's Gate 3, I Met Larian or something like that. Crazy experience. It, it was amazing. It'd be like getting invite. It'd be like getting flown out to Japan to talk to From Software and be in one of their shows or something. That's how much it meant to me because I like Larian Studios just as much as From Software. All right, let's head up. Uh, let's head up north. It's actually telling us to go this way, but wait. Okay, there's a path that goes around, so let's go ahead and take that. Does anybody have like detailed instructions for me on how to summon my spirits? I thought it was as simple as just having mana to summon them. Like, maybe I don't have enough mana. You guys were telling me, like, I needed to do a bell or something, but I, I thought it was easier than that. I don't know. Whatever. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, so Raceland, I'm gonna... I appreciate your donation, but I'm laughing at uh, Mortal's, Mortal's comment. So those of you guys that don't didn't watch the panel... Um, when I first appeared on the live show, um, I said, welcome me. And it was a really awkward, stupid moment. I don't know why I said that. And actually, um, it seems like most people didn't notice that I said it until I brought it up myself. So now everybody's making fun of me. <laughs> thanks, Mo. Hey, Raceland, thanks so much for the $10 donation. Beer on me for the next panel. Wait, are you in Belgium? Or are you just buying me beer? Thanks a lot, man. Oh, you can actually run. You don't have to actually swing. I think if you just have the sword on the ground. Interesting. You guys notice that? You don't have to, you don't have to time it. <laughs> that feels overpowered. You can just hold it down and then run through enemies. Wolf even got to walk out like a WWE wrestler. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. That whole part of me walking out as a barbarian was scheduled within the last hour and a half of the panel, I would say. So I didn't quite know what I was doing or what I was going to do. I would love to redo it, but uh, it seemed like you guys enjoyed it, so that's all that matters. Go back to the church where the merchants were. Okay, all right. All right, maybe I'll fast travel out there right now. Just want to see what's up here. Maybe I can find another camp. Oh, shit. Ash of War, Wild Strikes. So I have to figure out this. You have to figure out these Ash of Wars. Apparently you add them to your weapon and you get like a new weapon skill. Sounds pretty cool. Oh, damn. I don't know if I can even... You know what? We'll just fast travel right now. Let's go back to the church. I'm in no rush to explore this world. So I want to take my time. You can only summon your spirits in, in certain spots and there will be an indicator on the left of your screen. Okay. All right. Oh, shit. Who wants a word with me? Oh my god, I love the NPCs in Souls games. Like, look how cool she is. Is that M Melina? A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Rena. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yes, ma'am. She looks like the Melina lady that we saw earlier with her eye. Looks like her right eye is out. And the other lady had her right or left eye out. Yeah, I do love the new sword. Nah, man, it was great. Thanks, mortal. <laughs> Looking great as a barbarian. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> you guys are making me blush. Dirk! Chisholm with a $5 donation. I really like how there's actually people to talk to. I've only played Bloodborne and there are only like six humans in the game 
Yeah, Bloodborne uh, was lacking in the in the human department for sure. I agree. Thanks so much for the five, man. She does have four arms, and I'm just noticing that now. All right, now the question is, hmm, what do we answer here? I wonder what the consequences are from answering one way or the other. Ultron says, my first comment was bad. If you go back to the Santa-like vendor, a lady appears. Okay, great. I guess I'm there right now. All right, I'm going to say yes to her because I don't want to upset her right now. Oh, shit. JJ? What's up, man? JJ Jacobs. <laughs> Damn, it's great to see your name, brother. Stopping by to say what's up and super glad to see you're doing well. Thanks, JJ. You know, I have to check... Uh, I'll have to check to see if your band put out any music. It's been a couple years since I've even... I still listen to metal music, but I haven't been listening as much as I used to. I'll have to catch up on what you're doing, man. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for the five. Hope all is well. Guys, I've known JJ, uh, like I told you guys, before I did gaming... Um, I knew JJ through music connections. Uh, he was also a vocalist for a metal band. Or he, now, now you're not. Now you're not doing the vocals, but badass vocalist for for metal vocal covers. Good to see you, JJ. As I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Spirit calling bell. Okay, this is answering all of my questions. Lo oh my God, Lone Wolf Ashes. Holy shit. Yeah, thanks for stopping in, JJ. It's really nice to see your name. I always love when somebody from muse from the music days uh, stops in, especially someone like you. Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine. To do with as Good thing we wishes. said yes to her. I thought about telling her no, actually. Um, okay. Anyone else experiencing screen tearing? I'm actually not feel uh, fortunate in that category. I am getting FPS drops, but no but no screen. No screen drop. Clinton says, you know there's going to be so many secrets and secret bosses in this game. I played Bloodborne last night and discovered a whole new path I didn't know existed. I know, and now I just think about this game being open world. World is crazy. Beer on me if you are. Oh, you're in Vegas. Okay, all right, I'll keep that in mind, man. All right, guys, I'll focus on the game here in a second. Sorry. It was exciting to see JJ in the chat. Okay, all right. Um, let's see what this item looks like. All right, spirit calling bell. Bell that summons various spirits from ashen items. So I would imagine, oh, here's our whetstone knife too, okay. Um, so can I put this Okay, um, so do I have to equip the bell? Or is it... Alright, so as you guys said earlier, we have to be in a certain area to, uh, to summon. Or maybe it just, maybe it's a passive and whenever I'm in an area where I can summon a spirit, then it'll just let me do it. Because right here I can't summon them. All right, let's go to my campfire real fast. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? I'm going to have to, uh, after, later tonight when I stop streaming, I'm going to go back to all these moments and listen to all the NPCs talk again, because I'm not taking in everything, but it's pretty cool, though. Ashes of War can be put on weapons at a campfire. Okay, thank you. Night Shadow, thanks for hanging out. Aha, you're right. So we have Ashes of War right here. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments. All right. 
can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. We already read this. So, oh, look at this. All right, interesting. And you can put them on shields, too. That's crazy. All right, so right now we have wild strikes. Okay. All right. Um, and how do we use the ashes of war? Let's see. Hold on one second, guys. Oh my god, this game is so badass. This game is so badass. <laughs> so crazy. It's so cool that you can change the skills on your weapons. Alright, let's try the other one. God, that is just nuts. And you have to do it at a campfire. I like that you can't do it on the go. You have to do it at your campfire. Everybody's calling it campfire, and I'm going to keep calling it campfire too. <laughs> should look at her face all right so let's take this one and we'll do this one real fast this is what we had before so it should just switch oh no this is the stomp damn that that i feel like that's better super cool and it does cost mana to do it i like that though i think i like that one Experience has been great, Tardis. Uh, this is this is a really good game. The reviews are not wrong. Okay, let me level up one more skill. I'm trying to figure out where do I learn like my faith spells. I'd love to get into faith. If I just started as a confessor, I would have had um, I would have had a couple faith spells to start. But since I didn't, I don't. I have nothing. All right, so we'll do... God, I want to do Faith so bad. Do I really want to go the Faith Paladin build? I don't have anything Faith right now, so... All right, I'm doing it. Putting my first point into Faith, even though I don't have any Faith spells, is even worth it. Or should I just go Endurance or Vigor? I'll do Vigor. Can't go wrong with more HP. is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Let me talk to her one more time. The cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the Ring. Okay, cool. With this menu, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage. Cool. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items, when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Okay, so that's pretty Dark Souls-ish. Um, I could... What I'm going to do until I get some spells is get rid of my uh, mana flask because I don't need it. I need it for my rage, but I don't rage enough. And I do have another golden seed, so let's go ahead and use that right now. Added a charge to flask of crimson tears. All right, let's pass some time. And let's head out. Mackenzie, have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Guys, those of you guys that... Uh, that want to watch some more Elden Ring on this channel, I will be live probably the first thing when I wake up tomorrow. Uh, the next couple days, I might put out one Baldur's Gate 3 video over the next, like, three or four days, but other than that, I'm just going to be streaming the crap out of Elden Ring.
If Flint was here, he'd be happy to see you. Oh, you're talking to Raceland. Clinton says almost 500 people on the stream. Hello, new peeps. Welcome to the best community and the best streamer on YouTube. The first part's right. I don't know about the second part. <laughs> Thanks, Clinton. Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out today. I honestly didn't think I was going to get that many viewers for playing a Souls game because it's not typically what I cover, even though I do cover RPGs and this is an RPG. I didn't expect to have, uh, you know, 500 plus viewers for this stream, especially since so many YouTubers got it early and everybody's already seen people streaming. So yeah, shout out to all you guys that are in here, all of you silent viewers. I appreciate you guys just as much. All right, let's head out. Talk to her real fast, see if there's anything new. Wait, you... Well, you're back. Care to buy something? I don't think he has anything that I want to buy. I should start getting into crafting now. I don't have enough money to buy things. Um, let me go to the craft bench real fast. Nope, I don't have enough to... Uh... How do I get it to plus two? Oh, I need more runes. Interesting, that's it? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 530 runes. Let's go ahead and do that real fast. New game smell of the first weekend marathon. Your art of war also uses some mana. Okay, when you're holding it down, thank you. Sorry guys, if I'm uh, not grasping some of these concepts right away, it's it's because uh, it's because I'm multitasking. <sighs> and sometimes sometimes I'll multitask so much that I'm like, what did, what did the game just tell me? And then I have to sit here and think for a second. All right, so how many souls do I have right now? I think we have enough now. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Oh, I only have 412. Let's do one more of those. There's some nights that I'm good at multitasking and some nights I'm not good at it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we can do... Is this... Hold on. Is that the right sword? That's what I want to double check. It is. Lord Sworn's Quality Great Sword. What is the other sword that I have? Oh, they're all Lord Sworn's. That's a straight sword. I wonder if I can take, like, the enchantment off of that and get my materials back. Probably not. All right, so we'll stick with that. Now we have a plus one. It makes it even more powerful. I think I do want to go the great sword route. And, um, I think I can just fast travel out of here and let's go back to... God, it's such a beautiful map. Did I tell you guys that yet? Such a beautiful map. Lurk and lurk and thanks Vargan, appreciate it. You guys are talking Dragonlance right now. Shit, I'm not gonna lie, that tree that's right in front of my character, I when I was looking at the chat out of the corner of my eye, I thought it was a giant boss. Alright, Don, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, let's complete or let's continue on with our main quest after I kill these jabronis. Or they kill me. I'm surprised that it does damage. That's just, just crazy. All you gotta do is just hold it down and walk through enemies. It only holds for so long, but it's still pretty cool. That Ash of War is probably pretty good for stunning enemies so you can get past their shield. But, I actually might want to reconsider taking another Mana Flask because the Ashes of War do require mana, so... Troll? Oh, we got webcams back. <laughs> webcams has returned. Hot webcams, guys. Make sure to check it out. Actually, don't check it out. Don't click on the link. Okay, somebody's using a uh, the list up here. That's not good. 
Let's come over here to the left, see if we can get up there and take him out first. There we go. I wonder if somebody else will overtake that now. Be interesting to see if the AI does that or not. Oh my, Lanta. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. All right, nobody overtake that. It's been a while, but it's about time. <laughs> Thanks, Dom. Thanks for the help. He's not the best streamer. I am. We got Dr. Disrespect in the chat. Thanks for stopping in, Doc. I'm sure you're just watching Elden Strings tonight or Elden Ring streams tonight. How long has the stream been playing? I don't know, five hours maybe? Okay, let's try this again. Gotta watch out for the spear, guys. I really want to kill all these guys before I move on. I'm just OCD about that. I don't know if it's a good idea. I wonder if I can just stand in one spot and fight on horseback. Oh, you can. Somebody's shooting. Oh, this this jabroni right here. Oh shit! You can. The key is to slow down a little bit. We still got some jabroni up here. I know who he thinks he's... Where is he? Is he over here? Oh, there he is. hi -yah! What's up, Kirk? Finish swords? So you can finish... Oh, finish swears. Yeah, Queen Tiamat. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to learn some Finnish swear words. Alright, so I just have this, uh... There's a lot of games where I don't care, but with this game, I just... Oh, look, I can summon my spirits. So you guys see on the left side? Let's do it right now. Let's just do it. I want to see what it's like. Whoa. I wonder how long they last. Yeah, I need to get some mana flasks. Super cool. Do they follow? Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> this game is nuts. This game is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Do they just stay there forever until they get killed? I'm definitely gonna have to have the wolves follow me around for sure. Okay, let's go in. Hold on one second.
my patroness. Okay, this is looking real, uh... I kind of like the jellyfish, though. This is looking... Interesting. So hold on, when I go back outside... Or once you have a spirit summon, you can't summon again. Okay. I feel like something might come rumbling down this uh, this pathway right here. I'm getting real nervous about this. All right, sounds good, Queen. Um, I think I'm gonna rest because I want to change my flasks here for a second. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to... Do two... We'll do one mana flask for now. And that should be good. All right, now I can't, now if you guys notice, I, the summon, hold on one second. Let me just switch some things around here. We have the summon wandering nobles, the noble sorcerer ashes. Oh, they all cost different, interesting, they all cost different mana levels. The jellyfish is 31, the noble sorcerer, oh, that sounds cool, sorcerer, is only 11. And the noble ashes are 28. So let's go ahead and add, um, let's add the wolves to that. And the wolves are 55. Wow, they must be the best. All right, so let me go outside and call the wolves in before we push. Oh, shit, no, I can do it here. All right, here we go. It's wolf time. A woo. Nice. Is this Dark Souls 4? Oh, it's definitely got a lot of similarities to Dark Souls, but... It's Elden Ring. Oh, they're already gone. Why'd the wolves go away so fast? I think this is an NPC. Touch gold summon sign. I think this is an NPC summon and not a player. We're gonna try it out. Wait, is it? No, 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 wait, I don't wanna call on a player. I do not wanna call on a player. Nope, it isn't. Definitely not a player. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, guys. This is just unbelievable. I am blown away by this game so far. Oh, I can't call on a horse here. And I also can't do summons. Uh-oh. wonder why the bloodstains aren't working. Oh shit, I think it's this boss. I remember seeing gameplay footage. Look like coal, Queen. You're right. Let it be Margaret, the fell. Margaret? It looks like coal from Dragon Age, for sure. Oh yeah, I can't call any. Sp oh, I can do summons. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Look at that. I can't do the wolves. I can only do the spirit summon here. Stamina levels with this guy. I think they toned down the uh, the power of your spirit summons because it was OP in the network task, from what I understood. Oh, sorcerer is gone. Cole's dead. Didn't do too much damage, but he kept them distracted. So. Uh-oh. That's the end of my sorcerer. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, my spirit's gone. <laughs> oh, I can't do it again. Oh, shit. Oh! Whoa! All right, let's take this jabroni on, baby. We don't need any spirit summons. Nothing. Oh my god, I almost got one shot. Oh, I don't know the animations. I should probably use a shield for this fight. Okay. All right. Bye, Jet. Here we go, baby. Here we go, TARDIS. Just a heads up, the reason you couldn't use the wolves is because your mana was on... Oh, okay, okay. All right. Thank you. The Noble Summoner is kind of a joke summon from what you've heard. Yeah, it didn't seem too powerful right there. Uh, our buddy Cole was doing pretty good, but... All right, let's... um, Let's get our... S I'm going to do the wolf this time. We gotta make sure we pick up our runes when we first enter here, so I don't forget. Alright, here we go. Charge! Good distraction so I can get my, uh, my runes. There we go. Now we gotta take advantage of this. I think I want to call him the jellyfish. You know, I gotta get used to my, uh... Oh, wait, was I not dead? I gotta get used to, uh... Gotta get used to my new sword and the animations, because I'm stuck on the old animations with the quicker sword that I had. What do you think of Russia? Well, we're not going to talk about any of that during this stream. This is a gaming stream. All I want is everybody to be, uh... Here we go. Oh, shit. Hold on, what do I got? Sit down. I'm gonna try these guys out real fast. Fuck, man. See, I don't know my, uh, my scrolls. There we go. Oh, those guys suck. Those guys are horrible. The wolves are better than that. I gotta figure out a better way to quick slot some of these these abilities. Okay, so can I call on the wolves now? I have enough mana. Huh, I wonder. 
You only get one summons like per for a set period of time or something. I got this guy. I don't got any summons. Okay, we just gotta learn his animations and we're good. Alright, let's go. Let's go, baby. Just trying to figure out the summons thing. Now we're gonna focus on combat. Oh, did I not get my souls on that one? Whatever. It's too late anyways. All right, we're going to start off with a wolf summon, and then I'm just going to focus on combat and not think about anything else because I'm having a hard time scrolling through. You guys see how many choices I have here? I wish there was like a quick button I could just get to my health flasks with one click. It's like I'm, I have to cycle through and try to find what I'm looking for. So we'll start on the wolf, and we're just going to go at it. Oh, yeah, I should put my helmet on. Not gonna make that much of a difference though. Okay, here we go. These foolish Holy shit, I might have to pull out a shield for this. Try jelly. All right, I'll try jelly next time. You can use pouches. All right, I'll have to look into what that is. Um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to get rid of these two. That'll make it easier. And we got Estus and that. Okay, and I'm going to put on my helmet. And here we go. Into battle we go. We're going to call him the jelly this time. And we're going to kick some ass. Oh, nice. Didn't, it didn't like no damage at all. <laughs> Shit, man. I'm so slow with the sword. Take a health potion. Just gotta get used to those animations. I got this, I got this. And get them below half this time, then I'll be happy. It's all about learning. All about learning the boss. Okay, let's go, baby. Oh, I gotta get my souls. I don't think I have enough to even care about him. Yeah, I'm getting my souls. It's gonna get me killed. I had zero souls. I don't gotta get my souls anymore. Damn it. Got him a little bit further. A little bit further than last time. The prolonged attack animations, I know, right? <laughs> I can unslot the other summons, yes. Yep. 
Okay, let's go, baby. I think I'm gonna call in. The jellyfish was pretty good because it lasted. Maybe I'll do the jellyfish one more time. Okay, let's go. I got this. Full focus. Shit. Yep. Prolonged. Prolonged. Foolish ambition. Holy shite. Kidding me. Okay, let's go. Change the stop? That's actually a good idea. Um, can I just do it here? Let's find out. I'll put on my other one, but... Might end up getting me Forgive killed, me. too. <laughs> oh, shit. I've been testing you to Hello. see whether or not Grace truly does guide you. And whether you are fit to face the challenge that entails. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can, can you kill that you giant the beast? Table hold, gathering place of cool, champions. that sounds fun. Guided by Grace. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. Oh, we're going there now? For Shit. Great animations. Okay, I guess we're going somewhere else, guys. <laughs> Jelly does got the range attack, but it was really uh it was really weak. The round table hold is a place where tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non aggression. Cool. This rule is in effect when the round table icon is displayed. Alright, so sometimes it goes away. The round table hold is located outside of this world. It can only be reached through sites of grace. Can also be accessed by using the map to travel. Okay, so I heard about this central hub place. Cool, man. There's a bunch of tarnished around here. What a neat idea for this game. I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations. <gasps> the strength granted us by the two fingers. This is our faith, guy. Explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them. Nice. Ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. This is how we learn our paladin spells, guys. You do? Oh, wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation nice. of the two fingers? Thanks, Ultron. Have a good night if you're leaving. You only get one shot with the rogue guy? All right, so we have Urgent Heal, Heal, Cure Poison, Magic Fortification, Increased Magic Damage Negation, Flame Fortification, Fire Damage Reduction, Rejection, Produces a Shockwave that pushes foes away. That sounds pretty cool. Catch Flame, Momentarily Sparks Flame from Hand, and then Flame Sling, Throw Balls of Raging Fire. Awesome. We don't have enough money for these, but I think I'm going to pick up the heals first. Probably the Urgent Heal. When we have enough money. Um, this is cool because I was wondering when we we're going to be able to learn May the golden order shine through you. our incantations. And I'm guessing that the intelligence sorcerer is also here right now. Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. 
This is so cool that we have a central hub area in Elden Ring. I didn't, I, I heard about it, but I didn't expect it before I heard about it. Put it that way. Praise the light. All right, here is, this must be the sorcerer. Oh, this is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior. Cool. I, bid you welcome. I want his armor. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior. You are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. Okay, alright. House guest. Yet to earn their key. I can respect that. Remember your place. Newcomer. He's starting to piss me off a little bit, but there's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. God guys, the particle effects in this game are phenomenal. Yeah, I'm not sure what would happen if you say you do not see it, Destructor. Um, there's been a lot of options to answer that way, but I've always said yes, so. Yes, the Tarnished are, well, the Tarnished are the players, but um, there's probably Tarnished NPCs too. So as you can see, these are Tarnished too. Further study of I can happily spare the time and... Okay, nothing left with this guy. Let me talk to this guy one more time, then we're going to explore a little bit more here. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young... She's a servant to my house. She's okay. Been I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find a light. Honestly. Okay. All right. Um, We don't have a map here. So let's go. I'm assuming it's pretty small. That's the guy from Dark Souls 3. It looks like him. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I know I'm new around here. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I'll clean it up later. Your new face. No matter. It's all the same. They definitely did this for Dark Souls 3 reference. Out your arms. Let's get smithy. Ashes of War. Strengthen. Ashes of War. Duplication. Sell and about the chains on your legs. Let's go with that I one. See you've noticed the chains. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner and these are my chains. Oh shit. I'm trapped by the hole. I'm dying, smithing for you. Fools. Shit, he is chained to the wall. That's all there is to it. You're a prisoner? No. Don't read too much into it. I have no grudge against you. I feel like we might have a chance my to save him later. Prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Even time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget the sheer terror of her. Of her. Okay, that's all we're getting out of him. I don't think I can upgrade anything right now. But let's go ahead. I'm gonna take off my helm because um, it's really ugly. Look much better like this. Really cool though. So there's probably uh, some deciphering of this pal's story. I have a feeling we might be able to do something with him later. Might piss off some of the tarnished. Praise the tree. Oh, you can't even swing in here. Doesn't even let you swing at all. Andrew says, I think I'm going to get this game for sure. I've not ever played them before. However, I can play God of War. I feel confident I can play this. Nice. Good luck to you. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. I really do. This is a special game for people um, that like these types of games. This is definitely a special game. Like I said, um, after playing one session, I feel like this is probably my favorite Souls game. And Souls games are some of my top games, so. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion. Would you allow me to hold you? But briefly. Excuse me? Perhaps you might share with me some of your lifely vigor and your stamina. She hit on me? Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And she... you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? The fuck's Where going I on? Come from, it is a sacred act. She wants to bang me. Hell yeah. Ah. My thanks, great champion. Yeah, husky liver? I don't even know what that means, Bryce. It's a husky liver.
God, how cool are these scenes, man? They don't they're not like this in the other Souls games. Very warm. What if she just snaps my neck? Okay, we got something. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Baldekin. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me. Should you require another, I will take you in my arms as often as you need. Baldekin blessing. Really cool. I like these little animation scenes. Sus. Check the mirror next to his bed. You guys don't got to tell me uh, things that I miss or things that you want me to check. I appreciate it, but I would prefer to just discover the game on my own. Those of you guys that are new around here, um, yeah, I don't like tips during puzzles. I don't like people teaching me how to kill bosses. I just like to do it. Even if it's frustrating, I enjoy it. Talk to her one more time. I'm pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold the blessing? Is would you like to be? Would you like to be held regardless? And good day to you. All right, let me see what dear. this what this Baldur's Gate blessing is. Uses FP to temporarily boost. Yeah, what is poison this game? I don't really know what that what that means. Um. The definition of poise is graceful and elegant bearing in a person. Poise and good deportment can be cultivated. Similar, balance, equilibrium, control, and grace. I wonder what that means in terms of weapons, weapons and stuff. Like the heart of a wolf, but the liver of a whiskey? Have I ever tried it? Tried to be? I don't think I've ever tried to be a liver of anything. <laughs> Very confused at that. All right, um, so does that take away my talisman slot, though? Okay, it's temporarily boost poise. Yeah, I don't know what the, I don't know exactly what that is yet. I'll have to look up the definition of that in the game. Um, so we'll hold off and we'll just keep that. Nope, my talisman's still here. All right, I will, uh... I guess I'll check out the mirror here. Use dressing table. Apply cosmetics. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It lets you uh, change. Oh, that's cool. I wonder how many times you can come back here. Um, I take it back. Something like this, you're allowed to tell me. So whoever told me to check the mirror, um, I'm not actually mad. Oh, great. We got loveface.xyz online strippers without clothing. Holy shit. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, something like this. I don't mind if you guys tell me to look up like this, but I know there's a lot of new people on the channel tonight. I don't typically like solutions to puzzles or or even boss fighting tips i just like to figure things out even if it's frustrating and takes me a while okay that's pretty cool um how do i just get out of here like that just break everything in this place on my first time here <laughs> all right let's check out the other room boys is a hard is is a hard hard how hard it is to break your guard and stun you. Okay, okay, cool. Oh, they have guard bars in this game. Similar to Sekiro? Didn't Sekiro have the guard bar? Hide behind the tree? Thanks for reporting the bot, guys. This is so cool that we have a central hub. Oh my god, why is there fog right there? That, that makes me a little bit nervous. Everybody puts a door, but you can't go in it. Why is there an item back here? How do I get back there? How did somebody get back there and, and write a note back there? <laughs> it's incredible. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna check out what this fog is. All fog worries me in this game, though. Oh, we can't. Okay, okay so we have to do something to unlock this room at some point. Must be later on. Oh, wait, what about this? Oh my gosh! Okay, so when we see fog that we can't... I get it. The bosses in this game are that green fog. But this type of fog is oftentimes requires a key to get into the area. And I do have one key, so let's use it. Oh, 
Oh man, we need another key to go further. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Crepus Black Key Crossbow. <sighs> shite. Yes, 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 please. You don't gotta tell me. Oh, shite. You need 16 dexterity. Alright, well, we're gonna... Let's, let's put it on real fast. Just to see what it looks like. Oh my god, that's a big-ass crossbow. Can you two-handed it, though? Can you... Can you wield it with two hands? I'm not sure. Can't shoot anything in here, but that... Wow, that's a huge crossbow. What What in the hell? Why is it so long? Alright, let's take it off. For weight purposes. And let's... I guess that's it. That's all we got here. So I'm gonna save that crossbow, because I'll probably use it. I don't think we can get any further in this hub. Because we gotta find some more keys. Do I have one key? Probably not. Nope, I don't. Okay. Alright, we'll come back. A lot of webcams in here tonight. I'm not sure what's up with the bots. Some nights it happens, some nights it doesn't. We just, uh, disable that one from the channel. Gone. The bot is gone. The guard bars. Okay. All right. All right. I think we're going to head back out and try to kill that boss. It's almost midnight right now. I feel like I feel like I'm just getting started too. Like I'm just not even tired of playing. I can't wait to play tomorrow. I'm going to try to kill that boss tonight though. Okay. That'd be a great ending to the stream. And then I think you just leave by sitting at the chair. Um, did I already check this out? Let me... No. Oh my god, this place is so cool. Whoa. Oh, I got a new, uh, new pose. How do I talk to this guy, though? I hate when people put messages where you're trying to do something. How do you get rid of the stupid message? I know there's a way to do it. Get, uh, get it out of here. I'm, sick of, I'm getting sick and tired of people leaving messages here. Alright, I guess there's no way to talk to this guy. He just gives you an email. He'll probably talk later. Doesn't look like he wants to have a chat right now and it's pissing me off. I'll break the table in front of him. Where he was studying. Salui Quipet says, thanks for this. I was watching while I wait for my download on PS4. Time to go play. Hey, good luck to you. Appreciate you watching the channel. Even when swinging your weapon, you get hit. You can stop. Oh, it can stop you mid-swing, I do believe, unless you get high poise. Okay, sounds good. What the hell are these? The Twin Maiden Husks. Oh, wow. Very cool. Knight Armor. Take on the appearance of its... What? You can change your appearance? Take on the appearance of a host of fingers. Really cool. Answers requests for summoning from hunters. When invaded... I can't wait till I get invaded for the first time. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. But you know what? One day, eventually, I will get good. And we will kick their ass right back. Offer a bell bearing. Not sure what that does. All right, let's get, let's get out of here. Let's go kill this boss. I'm really happy that they included a central hub instead of just having to go back to the campsites. This is this is super cool and it looks phenomenal in here. I like the Demon Souls uh, central hub too. All right, let's um, if I can't level up. Let's just go. How do you get out of here? Uh, do you go to the map? Do I pass time? David says, this game looks awesome. I need a holiday. Hope you get one soon, man. Um, it's awesome when you know how to leave this place. <laughs> I don't know how the hell to get out of here. Oh, okay, here we go. Wait, the door is blocked shut. Say what? Um...
I think I just traveled right back to it. Huh. How the hell do you get out of this damn place? Whoa. Whoa! What is this? I don't know about this, guys. There's a lot of blood stains in here. Oh shit, we got invaded! Um... I think this is PvP. Probably some dude has been playing forever. Wait, is this PvP or is this an NPC invade? Anybody know if this is PvP? Oh, get out of here. Holy shit, what the hell was that? That was crazy. That was awesome though. I feel like that was an NPC because it had a it had a pretty normal looking name. Fast travel out. Sandy says, remind me to not invite Wolf to my fancy palace. Oh, look at this. Equip a bow to fire arrows. You can equip up the two types of arrows to choose from at once. When wielding a bow with two hands, oh, hold LB for precise aiming. Use R to adjust your aim. You can equip up the two types of arrows to choose from at once. Fire with RB, fire arrow two with R. That's super cool, man. Precise aiming, okay. Um, all right, so yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The map was just zoomed in. That's how you fast travel out. See, I thought like the I thought this was a map of uh, like a map of the actual place that I'm at right now. It's actually a world world map when you zoom out. All right, so we can leave now. But what was that? What is this place? Is just this must be like a training ground. I'm gonna do it again. Let's see if somebody gets summoned right away. Is this like a, a battle arena or something? It is. Oh, it's it's this guy again. What the hell? Damn. This uh this this dude's super powerful. I wonder what happens after you kill him. Alright, we're getting out of here. This is a little bit too powerful for me. Night Mustafa. I don't think that's PvP. I think that's just something else. All right, let's um, let's fast travel back to where we left off on that one boss, and wish me luck. If I can kill this boss, then I'll be very happy with today's session. But there's no promises. I kind of got to run to the bathroom real fast, though, guys. So let me let's get the get the wolves ready this time. And I'll be back in 30 seconds.
Okay. So, this stream has a longer delay than I typically have because I started it up without doing ultra fast. So tomorrow, I'll make sure to put the stream on less of a delay where it'll only be like one or two seconds. Right now, it's probably like seven or eight or nine, maybe even ten seconds delay from you guys watching to me playing. Tomorrow, I'll have it on ultra responsive. Is this the end? <laughs> the end. Is that a joke, perhaps? All right. Um, this is just a boss fight. So let's go. Wish me luck. Night, Matthew. NPC nugget. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, I did the I did the jellyfish. Ah, oh, too late on that one. I'm trying to learn it. I'm trying to learn it. Come on, jellyfish. I need you to do something for me here. Okay, he's got a spinny. Oh, I don't have my helmet on. It's, it's, it's unreal. It's unreal. I need... I need to have higher stats. This is crazy. doing a lot of damage with that. I feel like I might have to do the sword. Or I might have to do sword and shield and do this one-handed. Shit! There's no way to escape. That's crazy. Wrong button. I got, I got it, I got it. Oh, don't got that. Don't have to dodge that one. Okay, I'm doing better than I have before. Come on, jellyfish. Keep shooting. You're not doing jack shit right now. At least pull aggro. Great, the jellyfish is dead. It might go one-handed here. Oh, goodbye, jellyfish. <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> I think you can only do one summons per fight. Dude. Dude, that's not even fair. Okay, I did good though. I did good. What's up, Eli? Got to level 10 and called it a day. Nice. Oh, did you do uh did you do wretch playthrough or no? I'm just wondering because you said level 10. Or what class did you choose, Eli? I know that each class starts at a different level. That wizard summon pulled the most aggro. He did, but he dies so fast. I think I'm okay with the jellyfish. I might try the wolves on this one. We'll do wolves, and if this, does, if this doesn't work... I mean, I almost beat him that time. If this one doesn't work, then I don't know. Scabbard looks like a tail. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's go, baby. We got this, we got this. Alright, the wolves are doing more damage than the jellyfish. But they die very quickly.
<laughs> oh, I love it. Did you get burned out of your bar barbarian playthrough? No, nope. I got uh, pushed out of Baldur's Gate 3 because of Elden Ring. <laughs> Definitely more excited for, El for a brand new game like Elden Ring than uh, continuing to play Patch 7. But uh, I will continue to play Baldur's Gate 3, but my god, we have 700 something hours in it. Very excited for uh, for a new game. Not burned out though. We'll continue. We'll continue soon. Take a little break for Elden Ring though. Calling in the jellyfish. Oh, bad idea. Bad timing. God, you idiot. I am stupid as hell, man. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, 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 really bad timing on that one. Damn, the prolonged animations are crazy. Oh, good thing I was low. Damn, this, the game looks so good. Shit, 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 shit. Survive, survive. Uh oh, not good, not good. But the jellyfish can tank, though. That's what I like about it. Fuck, man. Damn it. Oh, it's so deadly doing that. De don't know about that one. Never seen... Come on, jellyfish. There we go. Let's go, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't get... Don't get greedy. Oh, I did it. All right. All right. Nice. Talisman pouch. You guys were talking about pouches earlier. Is that my jellyfish talking to me? This is nuts, guys. There's not even one thing I don't like about this game besides the FPS drops right now. This is phenomenal. Look how good the graphics are. Definitely the best looking Souls game to, da Souls game to date, which it should be, but... It's just incredible. Happy that I'm playing it on PC. Thanks, guys. GG's. GG's. I said I was going to stop playing after that, but I just got to explore a little further. We got to see what's up here. Oh, I should rest first, though. Let's go ahead and take a quick rest. See, I did it without the helm. To play good, you got to feel good and look good. Let me call the jellyfish back in because... Oh, I can't. Doesn't let me summon the jellyfish here. After the boss died. Okay, let's go check out the castle. It's glass hour. Oh, you're right, my souls. Shit, how many do I have? I have tw Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to approach carefully up here. I should probably fast travel somewhere to turn in those souls. Good thinking. I have 12,000 right now. Yeah, 
not jumping down there, not right now. All right, I'm gonna turn in my souls. Oh my god, this is just so crazy. We're about to explore a big-ass castle just in the open world that makes it even better. I gotta just peek this room. Come over here, would you? Oh shit, I remember this in the first gameplay preview. You, you, you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. Cool. Do we trust them? I think we can trust them. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnished that I like. I pray for your success. Kind of shady, but screw it. I trust them. It Use that opening, the guards. you slip. Alright, I'm just gonna peek the opening, and then we're gonna go back, and I'm gonna turn in these souls. Oh my god, it's so sick, man. Okay, I'm only gonna peek it. Oh, we got a summoner thing right there, too. I'm only gonna peek it. Don't worry. It's cool that you can just do it at any grace fire. Um, we'll put a little bit into vigor, and I think I'm gonna start going into strength a little bit. Maybe two into endurance. Oh, I needed some index for my bows. Shit. Maybe I won't do. Maybe I am gonna do a faith strength build. Two in this. I can't make use of faith right now until I have the faith spells. And I might want to save some. Might want to save some souls to get some faith spells, actually. So let's do... What does endurance do? Is there a description of everything? I don't see a description of what everything does. Endurance is is your stamina and also, I think, your equipment weight. Or your encumbrance levels. Vigor is HP. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm now level 16, cool. Alright, um... And then I'm also going to fast travel to go get our first incantation spell. So let's go to... Here. See if we can buy a spell. Carnish is derogatory. <laughs> queen Tiamat stays up so late. She's a night owl. But now it's morning, Queen. Now you have to go to bed. Dude, turn in your souls. Dude! Dude, where's my car? Ah, you appear. Well, uh, Dude, where's my car? All right, we're gonna take urgent heal and heal, and that's all we can afford. Oh wait, I can afford. Oh my gosh, I can throw balls of raging fire or momentary. Spark let's let's go with throw balls of raging fire. All right, I got a bunch of them. May the golden order shine through you. Now, how do you set them? Oh, I forgot about item crafting. We still have to do all of this. Damn, we got so much to get into in this game. It's crazy. Dude, where's my train? <laughs> Sleep is for the week. I think we have to memorize spells, so let's go to... If I remember correctly from... I never really got into magic in any of the Souls games, but I did a little bit in Dark Souls 3, so let's go back to this gate. Press select an explanation. Okay, alright. Thanks, Red. Appreciate it. Carly, you're still here too. Thanks a lot. Alright, let's see if we can memorize some spells. Here we go. Um... Okay. Urgent heal, heal. So it's... Okay, I can only memorize two spells. So I think I need to increase that mind stat, perhaps. 
to learn more spells at one time. Let's do, uh, let's do, hold on, let's get the description. Heals a small amount of HP. This incantation can be used while, ca ooh, can be cast while in motion. Very cool. All right, we're going to try them all out since we're at the fire. So let's just do both heals first. What's the button to cast them, though? Um, maybe I can't do them right now. Oh, I see. Look at this. I have my other menu if I hold down triangle. It's pretty cool. Do you have plans the next three months? <laughs> Elden Ring. That's it. That's it. So it's all good. Hey, what's up, Sa? Alright, well, I don't know why I can't cast these spells right now. Am I missing something? Well, whatever. We're going to, uh, this is going to be a good time to take a little bit of a break. Meaning going to bed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so tomorrow, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that I'm going to wake up. Maybe do a little exercise. And then I should be streaming this for most of the day. Oh, let me turn off that, <laughs> that eerie music. So thank you guys so much for those of you guys that hung out for this stream. Hopefully I'll catch you guys tomorrow. If you guys want to see my streaming schedule, it's posted on the About section of my YouTube page. And I appreciate all of the new subscribers tonight. Having a fantastic day. Uh, initial impressions, this is going to be one of my favorite games of all time. Honestly, I can kind of tell already. Uh, if the game keeps up in the fashion that it that it's doing right now, it's probably going to be one of my favorite games of all time. Definitely feels like the best Souls game. Um... I don't know. This is great. It's great to have uh, a couple good CRPGs and a couple good ARPGs. <sighs> Life is good when you got both games. Imagine if Baldur's Gate 3 released in like two months. That'd be perfect. Um, Thank you guys so much for the donos tonight. I hope I didn't miss any. And also, welcome to the new channel members. Uh, I'm going to go through the donation list because you guys are worth it, okay? JJ Jacobs, Dirk, thank you for the five. Racelin, Rob M., Steven, Dimitri, Mason with a massive donation. Thank you so much, Mason, for two big donations. Uh, if you're still here, Mason, have a fantastic night. I know you said you're about to play. Erica, it was great to see you in chat again. Paul N. Shannon, Hex, multiple times. Richard Morales, thank you for everything. Nimitz, aka Brian. RS, thank you for the 499. And I think you donated twice tonight, and you uh, you're the sponsor of this game. So <laughs> thank you so much, Rick. RS in chat. Big Al, it was great to see you. Thank you for the dono. Um, o Elden Ring, I'm guessing that was Shy or Kit. <laughs> Flat Earthers are jealous. Did I miss that one? Let me bring that one in right now. Hold on. That's pretty funny. I think I missed this one. <laughs> Dad has so flat it needs a training bra and a box of tissues to impress. Can't believe I missed that one. Who who did that one? <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Oh great, the stripper uh, strippers.com is back right now. Make sure you guys stop there on your way out. Have a good time tonight. Uh bra, thank you for the donation. Slim Shady, Jeremy Martinez, Kit, Kit multiple times. Hex, Nemesis, Rory, we're at the beginning of the stream. Juan, thank you. Brendan B. Silver CJ, TARDIS, Kelly. Kelly's long gone. Kelly's playing right now. Um, there's your other donation, RS. Joey Gonzalez, Sean, Jarlaxle, Jonathan Tempest, Wiz, Rory. Oh my god, you guys donated a lot tonight. Josh O. I think that's everybody. Michael Pekarik. Jarlaxle again. Lenny. Nem. Oh my god. Okay, now we're in yesterday. Now we're into yesterday's stream. Yeah, thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. Very excited to continue to play uh, Elden Ring and very thankful that you guys stopped in to watch it because I wasn't sure how a game like this would perform. Savalam with the Australian $2 donation. Better late than ever. Well, it's good to see you, man. You guys have a fantastic night. Goodbye. See you, mortal. Welcome me. <laughs> Welcome me, guys. Good night, Shy.
we're not we're not gonna raid wyvern tonight we've we've raided them two nights in a row and uh people are starting to not care about the raids anymore <laughs> we got to make the raids mean something but yeah dm wyvern is streaming right now if you guys want to go watch him all right well carly said he's streaming let me see what he's playing i'll post the link in chat you guys can raid him if you want oh he is streaming all right all right, all right, you know what? Screw it. If you guys want to raid DM Wyvern, here you go. I'm posting it in chat. If you guys want to go uh, go make another streamer's night, there you go. I feel like if I raid every stream, it just loses the fun. And eventually, like, people stop coming to the raids. Nobody cares anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, Wiz dropping the $20 donation. Wiz, you're not allowed to do that anymore. I'm banning you from donating at the end of the stream. <laughs> Thanks so much, Wiz. A good night, Doation. <sighs> okay, farewell. Godspeed, everybody. Godspeed. Hope everybody's uh, doing well. Stay safe. Whether you're Russian or Ukrainian. Rough times for everybody right now. Yes, go tell DM Wyvern good night. Playing Cyberpunk. Oh, cool. That'll be a fun one to watch. Peace, RG. Thanks for hanging out. So funny because the peaceful music is playing in my ear, but I can also hear the, the Elden Ring ambient eerie music. So it's a really weird song playing for me right now. you was I'm out VA wolf out for the night you're half Ukrainian kick butt game right and I agree not welcome me 